Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Marvel I'm a Cartoonist. Chapter 91, A Chemical Plant in Afghanistan. Da da da. Gunshots rang, sparks shot everywhere, and the air was filled with a pungent smell of sulfur. What? A cry of wailing echoed in the factory, making people feel as if they had fallen into an ice cave, cold and biting. Another brother died. The beard hid behind a wall, and when he heard this, he patted the stone angrily, his eyes full of fear. He has never seen such a person, no, he can't be called a person, he should be an immortal monster. Just ten minutes ago, the man walked into the factory door alone, was stopped by security, and fired without saying anything. Then his support troops rushed to join the encirclement and suppression operation, but what was frightening was that the man was like a human being dressed in Kong, and countless metal bullets could only hit it to make a metal collision sound like, dang dang dang. The strong point will fall into one point, and the tip of the small point will be flattened and dropped to the ground. The beard was completely unable to express it in words, but he still had weapons to resist, and he glanced at Ung near his feet. The American SMAWD 83mm rocket launcher is the most powerful infantry anti-tank equipment with amazing lethality. The beard thinks it may be an unknown robot in human skin, but the alloy used does not think this monster can block a shot. There was a scream of screams, followed by a deathly silence. It was calm and scary. The beard threw the communicator early. This monster's auditory system was really terrifying. He saw it with his own eyes and shot the communicating comrade to death. The most important thing is that the monster is looking straight ahead, turning its head back like lightning without turning its head, and heads directly through the wall. The atmosphere gradually solidified, and the depressed air made the bearded sweat coldly, swallowing softly for fear of making even a slight noise. After a while, the beard did not move at all, for fear that he would be shot headshot when he moved. There was no gunshots outside, and of course there was no shouting of his comrades. The result is self-evident, they are all dead, maybe he is still alive alone. The bearded heart squinted, gritted his teeth, holding a submachine gun in his hand, and walking on tiptoe step by step with a bazooka on his right shoulder. Such a posture is extremely exhausting, but he can only think that he can only live like this. Zizi. A strange sound came into his ears, and the beard hurriedly adjusted his body like a bow and snake and was about to fire, but he suppressed his thoughts again. The dazzling firelight shone on the wall, and a burly shadow was also reflected on it, seeming to be fiddled with something. As the beard's heart thumped and thumped wildly, and the body got closer, the sound of the hot magma being cooled became clearer. He leaned close to the wall and looked down. The scene in front of him made his pupils shrink like needles. The whole body of the monster was filled with craters into which bullets had fallen, and extremely cold metal skeletons were exposed everywhere, some of them were broken. It turned out to be a robot in human skin. The monster stood in front of a small blast furnace, and constantly took out something from his backpack and threw it into the blast furnace. Zizi. It was this kind of sound again, from time to time there was inflammation in the molten iron, and soon the monster stopped throwing things, but quietly watched the change of the molten iron. The beard slowly pulled out the front end of the rocket launcher, the sight was aimed at the monster, firmly and gently stroking the trigger. The beard slowly pulled out the front end of the rocket launcher, the sight was aimed at the monster, firmly and gently stroking the trigger. I was struggling a little bit, but now I didn't seem to have any defense. I was bombarded to death while I was not prepared. The exposed alloy looked more damaged, and this shot was dead. But he was a little curious about the purpose of the monster, and he was a little ticklish in his heart to let him watch the battle first. The factory is extremely quiet, only the sound of dissolving from the boiling molten iron from time to time. The beard did not wait long, the sizzling noise frequently echoed in the air, and more and more boiling bubbles appeared on the hot metal. Snapped, snapped, snapped. Within a few seconds, the boiling bubble had covered the entire surface, and then burst again and again, and the molten iron became calm. Just as the beard was puzzled, the robot monster picked up a bottle of silver-gray solvent from the skeleton in his arms and threw it in. Then the whole molten iron in the blast furnace began to change color and deteriorate, and the flaming boiling water was quickly replaced by the sticky night of silver-gray, which looked very viscous. After a while, waves of ripples appeared on the surface of the water, as if the surface of the lake hid by layers of rippling waves, the frequency became faster and faster and then stopped abruptly. Bearded's heart also mentioned his throat. 
he knew that the result was about to be announced and what the purpose of the steel monster was. The silver-gray water surface began to lower, and from the middle, a stream of water began to rustle, and the stream gradually solidified and condensed. What made the beard stunned was that the stream began to form the back of the upper body. The surface of the water continued to fall and became scarce, on the contrary, what stood in the middle was slowly condensing into a human form. The steel monster on the side took out a small black piece and threw it on it, slowly being sucked in. Until there was no silver-gray water in the blast furnace, what appeared before his eyes was a silver-gray skeleton gradually extending and finally condensed into a human body. The living human body. Texas, wake up, this is an order from the master. T-800 said in a deep and strong voice. As soon as the voice fell, the eyes of the human body suddenly flashed red eyes, and then a wave of ripples swept across the body. The silver-gray color of the whole body began to change, and the skin, bones, and organs began to appear intact. At the same time, a set of black and white clothes also changed. In less than a few seconds, because the clothes and skin changed together, the beard and T-800 couldn't even see the dew point, and TX turned into a heroic, beautiful and cold woman in a blink of an eye. My name is Texas, follow the master's order. TX's cold voice sounded, and asked steeply, turning his head to look at the beard, and said blankly, T-800, you are careless. At this glance, the beard knew that he had been exposed, and quickly shot down with a submachine gun. Dang dang. Not a single bullet hit the TX body and fell into the same color. The tip collapsed and fell to the ground. No, it's that I can't take action anymore. Making you is the top priority. At this time, after the TX scan, I saw that the T-800 next to the blast furnace was supported on one foot, and the other limb had been blown up. You are too weak without night metal. TX did not say thank you but told the truth, T-800 did not become irritated, because this is an expressionless expression in the program. Very normal communication. But the beard who has been shooting but useless, threw away the submachine gun, squeezed the trigger with his right hand, and steadied his left hand, shouting loudly. Go to hell, mechanical monster. Bang. The deafening sound reverberated in the factory, a huge warhead burst out of the tube, and the streamlined rotating tip dissipated the air to form a cyclone, dragging the ripples of the long air sound waves. The single-step anti-tank shell is the most powerful equipment of the infantry. Its penetrating power is extremely terrible. It can easily pierce the armor of the tank and get in and produce a violent explosion. The entire tank will explode to pieces. The confident bearded believes that no creature in the world can withstand this attack. Hearing his voice, T-800 fell to the ground and rolled to the back without raising his head, his appearance would be torn apart by the aftermath. The mechanical damage has exceeded the critical point, and the sound and visual systems have been damaged to varying degrees. This is also the reason why he did not search for beard. As long as the purpose is achieved, TX will clean up. Facing the bazooka Texas face calmly, he raised his hand to greet him, and at the same time, his hands waved like flowing water and turned into a shield in the blink of an eye. Upon seeing this, the bearded man smiled even though he was shocked by its ability to transform. Can it be blocked by a shield? The metal warhead and shield collided with each other in midair, with a, bang, a violent explosion soared into the sky, and a hot air wave rolled. The bearded man was leaned against the wall by the shock, and his heart was a little lowered. No one can survive this explosion. He saw with his own eyes that it took about two seconds for TX to turn into a shield, and the rockets were already riding on his face for these two seconds. No one can survive a high-energy explosion at close range, and Beard firmly believes this. Ha, huh, the Beard let go of the bazooka, and the heart in his throat was also let go. The burning raging fire rushed out a silver-gray figure, stepped a few steps directly onto the two floors and jumped to the front of the bearded man. TX stared at him fiercely, his whole body was flowing again, and the exposed silver-gray bones turned into skin again, and at the same time a thin layer of clothing was wrinkled. In fact, this suit is a figure superimposed on the metal of the night state. The beard was stunned, and he rushed out of the explosion center with ease. He quickly raised the bazooka and wanted to shoot a shot. I didn't expect that I would die when I was so close, maybe I thought of no other means, and it was a choice to be at the same time as much as possible but it was TX's hand that was faster than him. With a flash of cold light, the rocket launcher was directly cut in half, 
followed by a harsh, piercing sound. Zizi. It's a chainsaw. Da Hutong was so scared that his soul was gone, and he tremblingly begged, Don't kill me, don't. Diarysis. TX did not respond. He raised the electric saw with his right hand to cut directly through the bearded neck, and was also cut away along with the wall behind. The upper half of the wall collapsed and rubble directly buried the beard, and blood overflowed from the bottom to the feet of TX. We are looking for the next chemical plant. The owner's order is to create a night metal robot like you. T-800 walked over with his body, and said blankly, but you are the most special. These are the three parts the master gave you. A core ball with a solid shell glowing, one is a thin tube, and the other is a four-pack propeller. At the same time, in addition to the codename Texas, equipped with these three, your name will be Gia Luo C. TX did not know why it had to install parts that seemed to be a weak point. Her composition is an alloy inner frame plus ultra-density armor plus liquid metal, a masterpiece that combines these three completely different forms. With amazing resistance, the structure is similar to the body of T-900, which can prevent serious damage and resist huge impacts. The skin is made of the same liquid metal as the T-1000, mainly to simulate the appearance at will, so that it can better integrate into the human activity area and hide the identity. And it has ultra-fine local deformation capabilities. And it has ultra-fine local deformation capabilities. Both hands can be transformed into a variety of weapons, the main weapon is plasma cannon, other weapons are equipped with muskets and chainsaws. In her opinion, these transforming equipment are enough to use, and having substantial parts will be the primary target of being attacked. However, the master's order is never allowed to be violated. This is absolute. TX took it over without any hesitation. After stuffing the sphere into the fierce cavity, he found that the left car light rose a little, and then adjusted the right car light to synchronize with it. Then the thin tube was directly connected under the frame of the right arm, the thruster was fused into the legs, and then a message from Skynet was received. Countless images flashed in the central CPU of TX, and his eyes were somewhat humane with firm eyes, expressionless and indifferent, from today, I am Gia Luo C. No wonder the owner told her to equip such powerful parts. The female version of Janos began to adjust the internal structure, connecting the wire on the previous sphere to the thin tube of the right arm and the propellers of the feet, and at the same time the arm slightly extended from the right car light with a slightly twisted and dark yellow light. Crack. A light yellow circle appeared in the middle of the elbow. The black and bright short hair began to turn into long golden hair, and Janos, who felt some influence on the battle, retracted a little. The whole person exuded a woman's unbearable gesture, Gia Luosi lowered her head and gave a soft drink. Two small pillars of fire were suddenly ejected from the soles of both feet, and the whole person slowly emptied into the air. After starting a test flight in the air, it became more and more handy, and the speed was loaded to a multiple of Mach. Backquote give me something, you have lost the ability to fight, I will do it. T-800 did not hesitate and threw the backpack over, and saw Gia Luosi fly directly out of the ceiling of the chemical factory, looking for alternative or repairable tools here. Bang! Buzzing, sonic boom clouds rolled in midair, and Gia Luosi rushed to a chemical plant in the distance, falling from the sky like T-800, and clashed with local security. The difference with T-800 is that after Jiloji has unparalleled strength, after pushing a material purchased from the factory and backpack Zongtian, another TX was born. After Gia Luosi concocted the other two, she ran out of materials and returned to the original chemical factory with three TXs. After Skynet detected that there were no problems with the four, any door opened and the five Terminators entered directly one after another. Shumo asked T-800 to repair, Good looked at four TXs, three of them looked exactly the same as the ones in the movie, and it was Gia Luosi that made him playful. Teacher saw Atama, I have some fun now. You are so naughty, Alice Chan. Skynet little Lolita raised her head with pride and smiled. Dudu, Shumo, I need your help. Oh. Dignified Tony Stark wants me, a little cartoonist, to help. Zayat, I don't have time to talk nonsense with you, as long as you help me protect Pepper, I won't care about sending me a bear biscuit last time. In the future, I will follow my own principles. Okay, you don't need to be so vulgar. Shumo happily put down the phone and smiled at Gia Luosi, go and lie down. Yes, master. Rumble. There was a deafening roar from the Stark Industrial Underground. 
Pepper, are you playing hide and seek with me? Pepper, Tony is over. A rough and low voice lingered nearby. Shield, Agent Collison, who was squatting in a corner, couldn't help shivering, and said depressed to Pepper, who had been pulled to hide with him. Why does Obama have a small nuclear reactor? Collison has been feeling that he has been so moldy recently. The last time the blue-eyed white dragon incident is not over, Tony's own house is messed up this time, and shareholder Opadry doesn't know where to take out this big guy. S.H.I.E.L.D. didn't get an arc nuclear reactor, but Obadiah got it and seemed to work on Tony Stark. It's unceasingly cutting, and the rationale is still chaotic. Because Pepper, who witnessed several S.H.I.E.L.D. agents being killed by Opadry, said with a panic and guilt, it's impossible. I saw Tony rejected him with my own eyes. Flee first, we will have support soon. Collison shook his head secretly, looked around and suddenly stared, pulling the ware to roll to the side. In the next instant, the hiding place was stepped on by a nearly four-meter-high robot, and then the bunker was directly blown to pieces with small missiles on its shoulders. This huge robot is exactly the Iron Overlord, piloted by the Obama. It is equipped with heavy weapons such as multiple cannons and multiple missiles, which looks extremely hideous. Obadiah's voice sounded muffled in the robot, and he said, You may not know why I have this. Tony is really stupid. The battle armor that he worked so hard to develop when he left Afghanistan didn't take it away, and it was accompanied by a design drawing. It's ridiculous. Coulson and Pepper didn't want to listen to Obadiah's explanation at all, and got up and let Pepper run away. This move Collison believes that there is nothing wrong with Obadiah's primary goal should be his agent who wants to arrest people. This kind of dedication Collison feels that he is a bit great at this moment. It is a pity that Opadri did not pay attention to Collison at all, but went after Pepper, who made him plan to miscarry. Obadiah wanted to completely master the control of the group in a silent and non-stop manner. This radical method is simply the next step. He will suffer this woman. Pepper stepped on his high shoes panicking, hearing the iron bumps behind him, his heart came up to his throat, and reached the ground through the passage through the small space. However, Iron Lord Akoku broke through the ground and smashed through the reinforced concrete AJBD in front of Pepper. When he stuck out a huge head, Abadai grinned and said, everything. Boom, a crashing sound directly interrupted Obadai's words, and as a blue light fell from the sky, it was just a flicker, and Akoku Akoku was suppressed. Then there was a strong explosion in the, boom, underground, cracks continued to expand, and the ground shook like a beast. What? When Pepper couldn't stand firm for a while and was about to fall, he was directly pulled by one person. Looking back, he was a heroic woman, but this costume was full of science fiction. You are, my name is Jerome, and the master asked me to protect you until Tony Stark comes. Gia Luosi spoke blankly, and at the same time asked Pepper, who was full of doubts, to go far away, stay away from the pothole, and scan her eyes non-stop to visit. In the next moment, countless metal storms poured out and attacked Gia Luosi, and at the same time the Iron Overlord, who was breathing fire from the soles of his feet, flew to the ground. At this time, the Opadri was very uncomfortable. After taking a plasma cannon, the right shoulder was directly melted. Fortunately, his body size was not directly disabled. But Gia Luosi just ran easily and threw the bullet behind her back and went back to the original position. And Gia Luosi just ran lightly, then flung the bullet behind her back and circled back to the original position. Who are you? Tony's helper, Obadiah hid under the sturdy casing through the external probe, and said solemnly, this has nothing to do with you, let me go. Ordinary Opadi wouldn't say that at all, but the woman's equipment seemed not to be weak, and she almost destroyed his machine. You'd better stand still, otherwise. Gia Luosi stared, and a cold voice came into Opadri's ears. In this case, it is tantamount to you being a spicy chicken. If you sit and you will die, you will die if you move, Opadri will be furious. He was just afraid of this woman, and instead threatened him with blatant words. Go to hell. The cannon began to spin, and, da-da, spewed out tongues of flames. Gia Luosi didn't need to directly greet her when she dodged. Dang dang. Metal crashing sounded everywhere on the shield and Gia Luosi, none of them fell into the body, and all fell to the ground. What is this? None of the people who saw Night Metal for the first time did not exclaim, even if a commercial arms tycoon like Obadi knew the power of such metal. 
But he didn't panic and turned around and ran. This woman wanted to get close but his machine could hit 10 tons of force. Head to head is not without chance. However, he didn't want to wait. Seeing the machine guns hurt without results, the three missiles fired out in a row. The missile with its tail flame was about to hit head on, but Gia Luosi would cause some damage to the body through the scan, and directly greeted the gymnast with a perfect posture and evaded the three missiles. Obadiah sneered, what use is this missile for hiding like this? But the next moment he was dumbfounded. After Gia Luosi straightened up, she swung back with one hand and ejected a missile that hit her head back. The missile in the middle was immediately destroyed and melted, and the other two surfaces made a crackling noise, and then fell directly parabolic, becoming a dud bomb. Obadiah exclaimed in horror, electromagnetic interference. Gialuosi seemed to be doing a small thing, without a trace of stagnation, she rushed to Iron Overlord's side in a blink of an eye. Burn the cannon, fire it. Gialuosi stepped on a lunge, pushed her right arm forward, and the light mark on the side of her arm was huge, energy poured in, and her fist suddenly clenched the water into six spouts. The violent golden red energy beam suddenly burst out, smashing into the Iron Overlord in an instant with a surging surging, bang! Resounded through the world. Immediately after Gia Luosi, everything in front of Gia Luosi was erased in a circular fan shape, and the asphalt road had been burned to the flow of night. When the smoke and dust dissipated, Obadiah and the Iron Overlord robot disappeared completely. This battle was not equal from beginning to end, and Gia Luosi was not able to challenge the current Iron Overlord but was crushed across the century. Pepper, Pepper, not far from the horizon, a shout came, and black smoke fell from behind Iron Man's buttocks, and he fell somersault. Tony, Pepper hurried over to help him up, complaining, why are you such a virtue? What's the matter? Tony opened the steel visor and said without concern, you are fine, you know I can't leave the assistant, it's just the pusher burnt out. Yu Guang glanced at him and found that Jia Luosi was looking at him, her heart was throbbing, and she was stared at by such a heroic person, thinking that she was attracted by the handsome face. After Tony appeased Pepper, he turned his head, a smirk smirked at the corner of his mouth, and when he was about to say something, Jia Luosi immediately rushed to talk. Tony Stark, I have protected Pepper Potts intact, and the master's order has been fulfilled. Quote dot dot dot, master, oh, it's Shumo's evil taste. I didn't expect this guy to hide this. Tony murmured with a look like eating flying. When I wanted to say something, I was stopped by a gun. Crack, Gialuosi's left hand made a mechanical sound, which turned into a musket pointed at Tony. Mr. Tony Stark, I can feel your dissatisfaction with the master and will take action on your next sentence. Tony shut your stinky mouth, look behind you, this was shot by Gia Luos. Pepper said the blame, actually blocking the front with his body, making Gia Luos put away the gun. After all, it was the target of procedural protection before. Although the procedure has been completed, it is not logically possible to do so before receiving a new command. Besides, Gia Luosi just wanted to scare the playboy. The sperm in Tony's head was strangled to death in an instant. Looking at the long passage created by the incinerator, he gave a dry cough. Just joking, just like Shumo gave me bear-shaped biscuits last time. Last time Tony was stuffed with a biscuit, but he couldn't even eat it, so he gave it to the puppy on the roadside. Unexpectedly, the puppy's head turned into a bear's head, a mini bear's head, and Tony almost urinated in fright. Taking advantage of others not paying attention, he took the car home and started the research. Ten minutes later, it changed back to the original state and didn't find a cause. So this cookie is a prank. Then he ran in front of Shumo the next day, and was denied three consecutive days before he spoke. Gia Luosi turned and left without expression. At this moment, Collison's voice came from the side, and he ran over with a disgraced face and smiled bitterly, you. Call out. Gia Luosi did not kill him, and flames spurted from the soles of her feet into the air like a cannonball, leaving behind an embarrassing Collison. Nick Fury's voice came from the communicator in the ear, you go to Tony to find out the news. Aerospace carrier, use all the near-Earth satellites to find the robot, right away. Nick Fury gave orders to the agents. With a dark face, he was uncertain, yet another unknown incident. Although S.H.I.E.L.D. did not rush to the scene in time, 
Tony's importance and the relationship between his father Howard still made him observe the scene at all times. The technology displayed by this woman is undoubtedly several grades higher than Tony, and he has to pay attention to it. Satellite 1 lost target information. Satellite 2 has lost target information. Satellite 3. Satellite 3. But he kept losing one after another or slapped the head of shield. Director fiercely, even Tony's Iron Man couldn't chase after him, let alone chase Gia Luosi. Men had an effect. Master, Jerome has completed the task. Shumo watched the scene on the TV, nodded and said, Very well, you can go down first. This time, Iron Man Tony is not treated as a hero in the 300 clubs in the Stark Job Mansion and Obadiah in the movie. Instead, Gia Luosi's appearance entered the media's sight and was widely reported, but there were no comments on the internet that it was Janos. In addition to the unclear factors of night and distance shooting, there is also the difference in appearance, Gia Luosi's slightly longer blonde hair, and the commonality of mechanical technology. Whether it is Iron Man's huge beam ion cannon or the energy column of an incinerator, it looks almost the same from a distance. Not many people would associate Jerome with Genos, and of course there are some comics full of similarities that are now being planted. This night is really troublesome. Shumo stretched his waist and looked at the time before going to bed. After greeted the golden wood with blood stains on the corner of his mouth just after coming out of the basement, he left the house. This house has been used by him specifically for the summoners, and currently only Jin Muyan is the only one. Skynet Alice lives on the internet, the blue-eyed white dragon lives in Kerry, and the five Terminators like Gia Luosi ran to copy comics 24 hours a day, and Shumo didn't need Shadow Clone to do it. And of course he himself ran to another house to live with Gailey and Lorna. Unlike Shumo, who is relaxed and laid back, Tony dealt with S.H.I.E.L.D. with perfunctory words. He hates such official institutions. Shumo didn't want to contact, and he wouldn't disclose it. The two are considered to be similar. Zero. Tony, who had sent Pepper away, did not fall asleep so easily. He had been standing in front of Mark's armor and his eyes were shining brightly. Knight State Metal. Such a powerful energy is really a terrible murderous robot. How did Shumo invent it, and the door? Tony was not frustrated, on the contrary, he was stimulated with a high spirit of unwillingness to show weakness, and walked to the console to start developing a new set of armor. Undoubtedly, Tony is a genius. Under Gia Luosi's existing mechanical display, I am afraid that it will directly cross several generations of marks, and even nanometals will soon be used. Entering New York late at night, there was still noisy noise near Stark Industries, but a house in the distance was quiet and scary. Bronsky, you can't inject Banner's bloody night, you will die. Dr. Stern shouted timidly, this man was already crazy and wanted to inject beast-like blood, and he would either burst and die, or he would become another beast. Hurry up, or I will kill you. Bronsky was ordered to arrest Hulk Hulk. After Mr. Blue and Green met and suppressed Hulk's experiment through the Bloody Knight infiltration, he knew his chance was coming. I will be the most powerful fighter, and I will surpass any Captain Steve. Bronsky stared at Dr. Stern, his eyes burning with endless ambition. After a while, a thunderous roar came from the room, and a huge dark brown monster broke through the wall. Hulk, I am coming. The early morning sun shines warmly in New York, and a new day is always so beautiful, Shumo originally thought that way, but. Sister Gwen, how about buying this? Gary in a purple dress drooled at the cake in the glass window. Okay, Gwen happily touched Mogana's head, and the four of them went in together. Yes, there is also Lorna. Lorna's expression was a little unnatural, and a bit of sourness emerged from her heart when she saw Gailey and Gwen talking. Lorna has always had a lot of fun with Giali, in her opinion, just getting Giali's approval means one step closer to Shumo. Unexpectedly, Gwen invited Shumo and Giali to go out today, and Lorna was a little worried and a little stubborn. Even if the two of you are boyfriend and girlfriend now, it doesn't mean that you don't have a chance. Even if you get married, there will be divorce. There is also an opportunity for, two, four, three, meetings, and we can't show weakness. Lorna would never admit defeat, she clenched her fist, bit the bullet and went up to talk with Gwen. Shumo, who was in the center of Uzumaki, scratched his head when he saw it, and looked at the screen on the outer wall of the building. Tony was standing on the stage. Shumo also noticed that Coulson, 
who was standing in the back of the hairline, was always beckoning to Tony on the stage, but Tony was indifferent. Tony Stark, is the picture above you. A reporter held today's newspaper, and it showed Iron Man flight in midair. The golden and red colors and the characteristics of the Sal bag all reveal the character of the person inside. There is also the person in this picture, do you know? It is another photo, but it is different from the golden red and dazzling, it is darker, only the faint blonde hair is flying. This is a snapshot of Gia Luosi moving at high speed as she approached the Iron Overlord. Because Gia Luosi's limbs are black, the middle is white clothes, and the light halo makes it difficult to see her face. As for the second question, I refuse to answer, but I can tell you the first question. Tony's face was very serious, which made the reporters at the scene tremble. Playboy has always been inconspicuous. Such an expression was only available when the arms department was closed last time. Obviously it is another big deal. Actually, I am Iron Man. Tony Stark answered everything with this sentence, even though Obadiah was killed by Jiloth, it did not prevent the topic from becoming hot. As the chairman of a world-renowned group, exposure Iron Man's superhero status is more influential than he himself imagined. Shumo deeply knows that this sentence will represent the Marvel Universe's entry into the era of superheroes and the ignition point of supernatural phenomena in various parts of the world. And all the pedestrians on the street were quiet for a short while, and the next moment there was a clamor, and the whole world was talking about Iron Man at the same time. The employees in the cake shop also ignored the customer's constant discussion, but Gwen and Lorna did not become a Shira Chang as Shumo expected, instead they talked and laughed. Gally curled her lips, ran to Shumo's side, pulled off her clothes, raised her head and said proudly, You see, it's because of me that the two of them didn't fight, Shumo, you can figure it out. Snapped, Shumo slapped his head and said out of breath, I'm not blind, don't want to lie to me, you just want to eat. Three women and one man walked on the street, unlike before. Shumo was left behind. As he walked, he felt the ground shake violently. Roar, the roar resembling a giant beast resounded nearby, and the glass on the tall building instantly, clicked, shattered, and fell like a shower. Falling in the sky, it looks a little charming under the reflection of the sun, but the sharp cuts fall straight from the sky. Shumo hugged Gwen who hadn't reacted in time and took two steps back. Gwen's face was flushed. She didn't expect Shumo to be so bold, but the screams around her woke her up. Lorna and Giali had already flashed sideways into the street shop, and the other pedestrians were directly injured by the slag of the hidden weapon that came down from the sky. Lorna and Giali had already flashed sideways into the street shop, and the other pedestrians were directly injured by the slag of the hidden weapon that came down from the sky. Although the fragments are small but the height is too high, the damage caused should not be underestimated. For a time, screams and screams echoed in the street, and the people fled in panic. Where does this sound come from? Is it in front? The blush on Gwen's face faded, Zhang Ji's color was covered, and he asked in surprise. Shu Mo's heart was moved, his perception feedback came in, and he shook his head. Kaido. No, it should be the street next door. This voice is really loud. It's not easy to stay here, Lorna, you and Gary send Gwen home together. Gwen was surprised and took Shumo's hand, how about you? Why not? You forgot, the father-in-law will show up for such a big event, and he will be fine with me. I must, Shumo directly stopped Gwen Lee's flag, and let Lorna drag Gwen away from. Shumo, do you want to do bad things again? I can tell by looking at your face. Jia Li leaned over and spoke decisively. Shumo drove Jia Li away with a black face, and looked at the smoke-filled street not far away. In the panicked crowd, Shumo walked against the current, stepping nearly ten meters at each step, and after a few steps, he came to an alley, where Beast's voice became more and more deafening. Whoosh! Shumo disappeared in place and appeared on a high platform of a building. From here, you can see Broadway Avenue. It was also the prosperous street connected to Times Square. At this time, explosions were everywhere, and the calls for help fluctuated with each other, staged a human tragedy. Shumo's eyes flashed brightly, it's really interesting, do you think this stage is a little smaller? Skynet Alice projected on the watch, turned her head to look at Shumo, frowned and said, are you sure you want to do this? You know they can guess now, but if you shoot, you just sit back and take everything. Sit real. This term is used well. Actually, 
the former is very obvious, the former is the Qingyun Beilong and Jia Luo Si, the latter has some changes in gender, but Shield may have already passed the comparison long ago. Maybe the photos in the hands of the media are blurry, but Shield, which has satellites, has already turned all the relevant pictures of Guan Genos into a mess. Alice heard the words and curiously said, Then what do you want to do? Me, a lie is to die a person and die a potential fan. Shumo looked at the sky, and the corners of his mouth appeared slightly, revealing a playful smile. The truth is, this world needs me to make it different. There are many forces in Marvel. Officially, there is a shield in the west and a spear in the east. The behemoth of private institutions is Kamatai Haim. And he embraced countless worlds from the beginning. Now is the time to end with a lot of fun. But, I'm a pragmatic cartoonist. Fighting and killing is not for me. Congratulations to host, Get. In the dazzling white light, a bald head appeared immediately after, Dwang. Justice execution. Peter Spider-Man has been a bit bad lately. The final exam is coming soon, and he is busy fighting criminals who skip school and miss school countlessly. If you continue to continue, I'm afraid that Uncle Ben's anger will come alive, so today Peter hasn't stalked the Queen's area for a long time. However, for the sake of responsibility, he turned on the TV at the same time and hadn't been hot, and the news anchor was like a chicken blood. Temporarily insert a piece of news, please don't leave, connect to the scene now. Then the black screen also lit up and left the radio station and appeared at a high altitude. Then the cameraman pulled the lens down, Manhattan, New York. Several armed helicopters hovered in midair, and tanks on the ground were rolling across the road. A large number of soldiers rushed to a street with strong strides, and the police rushed out to pull up a tight blockade on the periphery. Evacuate the crowd at the same time and keep people away. What happened? Has the Third World War started? Terrorists attacked New York again. Or is it that aliens have invaded? The Americans in front of the TV unanimously hit an exciting spirit, and the blood rushed to their brains for no reason, and asked them to call friends and call friends to wait for the live broadcast. Soon as the camera zoomed in, a huge monster nearly four meters away came into view, causing the people in front of the TV to take a breath at the same time. It was dark brown skin all over the whole body. The bone spurs were like small hillocks and terribly overgrown the spine on the surface of the body. The arms and thighs were like beam rooms and pillars. It is full of Yuwang that destroys everything. The monster raised a terrifying fist and slammed it in front of a car, and immediately slammed it through, frightening everyone in front of the TV. It wasn't refreshing enough, so I jumped onto the car and stepped on my feet. It was as fragile as tofu, and it collapsed in the blink of an eye and turned into scrap copper and rotten iron. He spread his thick arms, his horny head roared into the sky, a living behemoth. Da da da, the heavy machine gun shot fell on the body like a peas, and the monster rushed through the line of defense unstoppably. Sandbags and other bunkers can't stop at all. The huge body is like a human-shaped bulldozer, and the speed is not only astonishing, and the powerful physique stepped on the surface and shook the earth. There was nothing to slow his pace. He jumped up in the air and made a strong chop. The armored tank suddenly sank, and then hugged the front of the car. I am invincible. With one hand, the chariot was torn to pieces like paper, and in the other hand, he picked up a small car and smashed it into the high-altitude armed helicopter. The wreckage roared with black smoke from the sky, followed by a soaring explosion. Military vehicles are as fragile as a child's toy, and the line of fire formed does not even leave a small mark. The anti-tank rocket launcher was hollowed out and it didn't make the monster back even a small step. Such a powerful military was crushed and beaten by monsters from start to finish, and was clearly photographed in. I am power, I am hate. He hates the swaggering vent of power in front of the media helicopter. He wants to let the world know who is the strongest on earth. Abomination is Bronsky. In order to be strong, he injected a blood sample of Hulk and turned into a monster. Abomination cannot be transformed between humans and monsters, and he can maintain a certain sense of reason when he is permanently set. He is a soldier, proficient in military fighting skills and rich combat experience, but because of the upper limit of the power that cannot be brought about by anger. While yelling at Hulk, a weakened man fell from the helicopter in the sky just as he hated the killing. While yelling at Hulk, a weakened man fell from the helicopter in the sky just as he hated the killing. 
The ground was smashed into a big hole in an instant, a spider web like crack broke open, and rubble was splashing everywhere. A fat green man climbed up from the pothole with a torn and roar in his mouth. He had a body shape similar to hatred. He tore off the exploded rag, leaving only a shorts wrapped in it. Click. Hulk Hulk chopped his feet in a demonstrative manner, spreading his hands and shouting at disgust. Abomination and Hulk didn't even talk nonsense, they just threw their fists directly, and the two fought fiercely. He didn't even consider what was around him, and demolished everything he encountered. The walls, buildings, buildings, etc. were not in the eyes of the two monsters. They are venting their anger, and no building can survive under the power of terror, raising dust in the sky. In a few moments, more than half of Broadway was demolished and turned into rubble. The mayor of New York was so angry that he cried and violently abused the military's incompetence. Shield, Trident Building, quickly, has Stark notified. Nick Fury frowned and stared at the huge high-definition display, exclaiming and passing orders. Also go and invite the Fantastic Four. After all, Manhattan is their home and it is impossible to ignore it. Commander Hill came to Nick Fury and said anxiously, the President and the Security Council issued an order that these two monsters must be driven out of Manhattan without using weapons of mass destruction. If New York is the economic capital of the United States, then Manhattan is the lifeblood of New York's economy. Nearly 80% of the prosperity comes from here. Because Wall Street is located near Broadway. As the center of the world economy, if it turns into rubble, it does not matter that there are less than 100,000 people who line up to jump off the building every day. But the economic downturn is enough to drive them down. Nick Fury grinned with a green face, how to rush. No one can intervene but wait for Fantastic Four and Tony Stark to stop and try. You reply, saying that S.H.I.E.L.D. currently has no spare capacity. Hulk is a product of the Super Soldier Project handed over by General Ross. They were all signed at the beginning. Now that something goes wrong, I only know to find someone. Put pressure on the Security Council to get them to pass the Avengers plan this time. Otherwise, let the military clean up. After Hill turned and ran to reply, Nick Fury stared blankly at the display with just one eye. No one knew what the King of Agents was thinking about. Peter shuddered, watching the two monsters ravaging Broadway, quickly opened the closet and put on the Spider-Man uniform, swished and swung out. Relying on his fighting skills and combat experience, Disgust kicked Hulk, kicked into a building, and rushed in. Rumbling, the thunder blasted, and Hulk flew out and knocked down the beams and pillars. The building was about to collapse in the shaking ground. There were dozens of fleeing people nearby. He looked at the three remaining pillars without saying a word, raised his fist and planned to smash them one by one, letting them crush people to death. Rage, bloodthirsty, and destruction constitute hatred. Hey, did you do this with my consent? The ridiculous voice came from a distance, and a golden red steel armor directly rushed in, hugged his waist and flew out. Iron Man hugged Abomination and flew straight out, and Abomination didn't pay attention for a while and didn't catch the standing point, and Tony went to the sky. This is Stark's mansion. In the armor, Tony was exclaimed, you are really heavy. Disgust roared and started to struggle, grabbing Iron Man's arm with one hand and directly started to twist. Tony Stark, go to death for me. Click. The mechanical arm was directly torn off. Abomination didn't see the spurt of blood, and his hands were suddenly torn apart, and the sturdy armor appeared extremely fragile and was directly torn to pieces. It was empty inside, Tony wasn't in it. Abomination fell into a free fall in a daze, and then three mini-missiles in the distance quickly flew and hit him. Bang! It plunged into the surface with fire like a meteor falling to the ground, and the roar of muffled thunder rang out, followed by abhorrence unscathed from the pit. Don't be afraid, Iron Man will protect the safety of New York. It was another steel armor from a distance that used a loudspeaker to show his pomp to the world, and Tony was not stupid, so he directly got in touch with the big guy. He first sent out the old Mark armor for remote control, and then he waited for the opportunity to move. Tony Stark, I want to tear you to pieces. Disgusted with pounding his hands on the ground, and roaring up to the sky. He was greeted by the Iron Man's double shoulder machine guns, spitting out flames, with a mouth cannon in his mouth to attract the attention of Abomination, and the pulse of his palm blasted his head. At the same time, the armor-piercing bullets were continuously fired from both sides of the arm, 
making abomination back again and again by the powerful kinetic energy. Amidst the smoke and dust, abomination greeted him with a violent sound, and his feet leapt vigorously against the metal storm. The terrible bounce flew up in the air and punched Iron Man. Not far, Iron Man flashed to one side flexibly, but was turned back several somersaults by the wave of air, stabilized and moved in the air without stopping. The fierce ion beam cannon fired from time to time, and the fierce energy burn made hate roar. The two of them had nothing to do with thick skin for a long time, and the other kept attacking while evading his grasping hands again and again, stalemate for a while. But this was extremely detrimental to Tony. It didn't take long for desire to seize an opportunity to hug the Iron Man who flew past the back. Oops, quote, Tony's heart tightened, his feet were fully motivated but he couldn't escape. Hey hey, with a grin of disgust, Hansen's teeth were shuddering, and his thick hands firmly grasped and hit the ground, spreading cobweb-like cracks, and then dragged it up and hit the other side. Bang, 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 Iron Man is like a lamb to be slaughtered, tied to the palm of his hand with abhorrence, smashing holes in the ground. Let go, Mr. Stark. Suddenly a childish voice came, followed by a white silk on the face of disgust, blocking the line of sight, and lightening his hands. With fire spitting under his feet, Tony seized the opportunity to use the maximum horsepower to escape from the hands of abomination and rush to the sky. At this time, the steel armor was cracked everywhere, and the degree of damage was as high as 60%. Tony was in pain all over his body, as if he had no strength, and descended to a high platform. At this time, the steel armor was cracked everywhere, and the degree of damage was as high as 60%. Tony was in pain all over his body, as if he had no strength, and descended to a high platform. Mr. Stark, are you okay? Spider-Man Peter came to him swinging on a spider silk swing, his expression a little nervous and excited. What's nervous is that Peter has never seen such a big battle. What's excited is that he can meet the superhero Iron Man. This is an affirmation of him being a Spider-Man. Good boy, get out of here. Tony gave a compliment first, and then asked Peter to leave this place of right and wrong. Spider-Man's data was already in the database, and he and Abomination couldn't fight. No, I am a superhero and must stand in front. As soon as the voice fell, a white silk shot out from the wrist of the confident Peter. It's so arrogant. Upon seeing this, Tony beat the slate and ordered Jaw Wiss, send last night's. Sir, Mark 7 is still in semi-finished products and it is not recommended. Stop talking nonsense, activate now. The appearance of Gia Luosi opened Tony's mind. Numerous ideas came to his mind in advance. A few days ago, it was Mark 3, but now it is directly on the 7th. When Hulk, who flew upside down on the other side, crawled out of the ruins to find abominations and settled accounts, four men and a woman in uniform stood in front. The people in front of the TV began to cheer. The arrival of the Fantastic Four and Spider-Man, unlike Iron Man, looked more grounded and popular among civilians. Please stop. Dr. Banner hates being stopped by Iron Man. Change it back quickly, otherwise Manhattan will be reduced to rubble. The first to speak was no longer the ignorant Thunderbolt Johnny, but the calm and calm Mr. Fantastic Reed. Roar. Hulk roared, as his sanity gradually disappeared, and he would destroy all his opponents as long as he was in front of them. Backquote it seems impossible to communicate, so I can only force it, Johnny. After Mr. Fantastic greeted him, Johnny only acted. It seemed that the last incident made him mature. Without even letting go of the gun, he raised his hand to engulf Hulk in a huge burning sea of fire. The extremely high temperature distorted the air and burned in all directions. The endless heat wave swept across the sky, and the tall buildings were swayed and shaken by the sea of fire. The cars on the streets were detonated one after another, and they were ignited and disintegrated like paper. Johnny didn't care, but nervously focused on the front. His sister, the invisible female Susan, shot at this time, releasing a circular transparent barrier to envelop the flames. The extremely high temperature of thousands of degrees crackled in it, and was gathered and focused in the center. Hulk, the tearing roar like a violent beast roared in the depths of heat, a violent wind suddenly burst out and swept all around, and the airflow began to spin like a beast rushing wildly. The fire wave began to be blown by the wind and began to shake, the burning crackling sound jow how jow disappeared, and the green monster emerged from it. The hideous face and unharmed body made people fall into the ice cave, 
The hair is horrified. Johnny's face turned pale with amazement. Such a scene reminded him of being crushed by a man named Aizen Sosuke, how is this possible? Upon seeing this, Mr. Fantastic murmured to himself, this is a bit bad. I'm going to resist, you guys think of a way. The stone man rushed up, and the surface rumbling. Although it was slightly different from Hulk's body size, the rock-like outer shell also had the power to fight. However, before the Fantastic Four could organize an effective attack, Abomination from a short distance rushed over, with spider silk entwined all over his body. And Spider-Man has been pulling at the back, but the power is completely unequal and is directly dragged all the way to the ground. Hulk, you weak, I hate that I saw Hulk and the Stone Man all the way back. You punched me, and the fists were soft and proudly yelling, incompetence. After talking about pulling the white silk on his body, the little spider behind him was stunned, and was dragged along with the silk. Disgust directly waved his hand in the air, and Spider-Man was hung in the air and revolved. Knowing Disgust's intention to throw him out, he directly let go. Spider-Man flew out like a parabola due to its huge inertia, and the, shoo shoo shoo, spider silk shot out and connected to the buildings along the way, pulling it all by itself to reduce the impact. Click. The white lines were all pulled off one after another, and the Spider-Man was still about to hit the surface. At this time, a long noodle-like body directly tied the Spider-Man before it could stop. Mr. Fantastic, Spider-Man exclaimed gratefully. Hulk saw his hatred quickly hit the stone, and his strength grew stronger and stronger. He opened his bow and hit the stone man with heavy fists. At the same time, he kicked hard so that Ben didn't pay attention to the hit, and flew backwards like a kite that missed the line. He smashed through a building severely and was buried by smashed gravel. At this moment, the hatred rushed directly, and quickly rushed to Hulk, raising his fist and hitting him straight in the face. Bang! Hulk, who had just left the old force and was not born in the new force, was caught off guard by the sudden attack. Between grunting, several teeth and blood squeezed out of his mouth, and fell on the ground in a blink of an eye, rolling several meters on the ground. Abomination strode forward to Hulk's side, stepped on his fierce mouth, and laughed wildly, Hulk, you don't deserve to have power at all. You only have this ability. Hulk's current situation is very unstable. Because of the injection of inhibitors, Hulk's power was suppressed, and now it can't be deployed at all. But as the anger continues, Hulk is gradually awakening his strength, but this will take time. Abomination took advantage of the momentum to chase, and his thick feet stepped on Hulk half and half to the surface, waving his fists like a stormy offensive, and landed on Hulk. Hulk could only hold his head to protect him, and kept making a sorrowful sound. After a while, he felt a little boring in disgust. He spit on and said with extreme disdain. Too disappointed Hulk, turning his head to look around, the corners of his mouth raised a curve, and he roared, come on. Superheroes, I am the strongest. At this time, Iron Man changed into Mark 7, this suit was several times stronger than the overall upgrade of number 3, but Tony played against him carelessly, and he was not stupid to single him out. Around the hatred stood Mr. Fantastic, Invisible Woman, Thunderbolt, Spider-Man and Iron Man flying in midair. As for the Stone Man, he passed out. The frontline reporters in the sky shouted in horror, we must win. Superheroes. The audience in front of the TV didn't have the thought of playing around at this time. Before they had the most powerful army on the earth, they firmly believed that the United States could win in the end. But now it's completely different. The army was taken down and played in the hand and the whole army was wiped out in the blink of an eye. Without this, the people began to panic. They are not stupid. Once they are so close to Broadway and Wall Street, the rooftops are waiting for him, and if they don't jump off the building, they will be trampled in the mud by abomination. Some people stay behind closed doors, trembling and waiting for the development of the situation to think that it will get better, and some madly fled to New York thinking that it is completely over. At this moment, all except terrorists hope that the superheroes can win and the world will return to normal order. In the chaotic streets, hatred and superheroes confronted each other, and the depressive atmosphere was enveloped in the hearts of every American, or the hearts of audiences around the world. Since the emergence of superheroes, no criminals have done this like Abomination, a veritable super-criminal. The first to launch the attack was Iron Man,
who lifted a small frame on both shoulders while firing micro-missiles all over the sky, which fell like a shower of rain. Rumble. The deafening roar echoed between the sky and the earth, and the rising smoke filled the air. Susan hurriedly unfolded her hands and shimmered, the transparent barrier was always ready, and Spider-Man concentrated on the spider on her body and listened. Johnny's face was solemn, and he raised his hand and blasted a pillar of fire to dissipate the smoke and hit the center area. The dust was gone, and there was no one. Above, Spider-Man and Iron Man uttered at the same time, and the next moment the hatred jumped in front of Iron Man and grabbed it with a big hand. He was extremely disgusted with Iron Man's kite flying, and first wanted to get rid of it. Too fast, the energy burst at full power. Iron Man saw it too late, and directly raised his arm, three laser guns popped out from the side, and the fierce blue energy gathered. Iron Man saw it too late, and directly raised his arm, three laser guns popped out from the side, and the fierce blue energy gathered. One thick and three thin energy cannons suddenly exploded and immediately slammed into the abhorrence that was close at hand, and the unparalleled blast of energy blasted its fierce mouth. Roar, painful hatred gritted his teeth and snarled, holding the beam of light. Hulk's super self-healing power kept him from flying out. Aika, the fist slammed, tearing the air, Iron Man only felt the pain spread all over, the buffer system was directly overloaded and scrapped, the bones began to make an unspeakable crunch, and the whole person flew out like a cannonball. Upon seeing this, Spider-Man hurriedly spewed out several cobwebs and quickly fell Iron Man, Mr. Stark. After Abomination fell to the ground, he jumped at Johnny, and his powerful leg muscles made him fall in front of the Fantastic Four and swept out a punch. Bang! A dull voice sounded out of thin air, and a transparent barrier was erected in front of Johnny, with huge fists hitting it, bursting into cracks and crisscrossing. Johnny's whole body turned into flames, and a fiery pillar of fire burst into the air with fiercely high temperature and blasted on abomination. Boy, these are useless. Disgust broke the barrier, and his body surface was burned by thousands of high temperatures, but his self-healing power followed closely behind him. They were stalemate with each other, and some severe pain made him angry into anger. Another jumper took Johnny into the air like a fly, but Mr. Fantastic couldn't save it because he was on fire. Fortunately, this posture had the effect of reducing injuries. The fire blasted into the building next door, and Johnny struggled to get up, but his whole body pain made him limp to the ground. Two outputs were abolished at once, and the remaining three controls could not be resisted at all. Disgusting easily hit Spider-Man with vomiting blood and fell to the ground. Susan's energy field burst out and he couldn't restrain the abomination. When he was hit by a huge fist, Mr. Fantastic directly turned into a cushion rubber to envelop Susan and flew upside down for tens of meters, unable to get up for a long time. Five hits and one team was wiped out. I am the strongest. Abomination shows his absolute power in front of the live camera. Woo, mom. A little girl was crying helplessly in a corner of the street, but the voice quarreled with the disgust that was showing off. The previous roar concealed it, but now the surroundings suddenly became quiet, but it seemed particularly loud and crisp. The little girl felt a shadow on the ground, the tears on her face stagnated, and the fear filled her heart. My God, who can save that girl? Hero stand up, hero. Under the camera, the girl panicked and looked up at her hatred. The viewers in front of the TV were in immense pain, and the tragedy in the world appeared. The eyes of the nearest Spider-Man were unyielding and unwilling. The disabled Peter crawled forward, but his speed was too slow. Bang bang bang. It was Iron Man's missile bombing that stirred up dust, and at the same time he rushed into the smoke to take the opportunity to save it. Hope flashed in everyone's eyes, and they were all cheering, but the next moment their throats were pinched, and cold sweat dripped from their foreheads. Tony Stark, Iron Man, Superhero. Disgust grabbed Iron Man's neck and lifted it in the air, grinning grinningly on his hideous face. I want you to see your incompetence with your own eyes. He threw Iron Man to the ground and slammed his foot on the fierce mouth. Tony couldn't struggle at all and shouted, No. Let the innocent people go, she's just a child. He hated listening and didn't respond, and slammed a fist that was not much larger than a casserole at the little girl. Suddenly, a lively musical sound from low to high suddenly sounded throughout Times Square. One punch, three, two, one, kill shot, participate, sure to win, the supreme and the strongest. Two minutes ago, 
Bang bang bang. The endless voice echoed in the sky, and there were two people sitting on the edge of a rooftop. Click. Shumo took out a cigar, lit it on fire, smoked it, and looked at a few people in the street not far away fighting, turning his head and wondering. Aren't you going? You are a hero. A big bald head sat side by side with him, his head downcast, listlessly saying, it's boring, I can't stop my fist. Shumo took a sip and vomited in the air. The faint smoke stimulated his nerves, and a smile was raised at the corner of his mouth. That might be the case. Just forget the one who doesn't wear pants. The green one looks a little weak now, but the more angry he gets, the stronger. The bald head now comes from the period when the pineapple head was blasted at the end of the first season. At this time, his slight enthusiasm in his heart can be quickly extinguished. And there are gods in this universe. Hearing this, the bald head looked up at Shumo in surprise and said, Really? Of course it's true. I'm worried you don't even have the idea of punching when you see it. Yoshi, this world looks much more interesting than before. The bald head got up and stood up, with an eager expression on his face, looking down, and whispering without looking back, I'm leaving. As soon as the voice fell, he jumped down and caused the people below to exclaim. I bought a lot of game consoles, hero who is interested in it. I'll be back soon. The bald head swaggered over and his hand raised. Seeing such an unremarkable appearance, Shumo shook his head. In other words, it was the first time that it was so low. Smiling at Alice, invade all the network equipment around Times Square, and present the most enthusiastic song to our heroes who are interested in. After a pause, looking at the blue sky, he said calmly, let Jin Mu not have to deal with S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. Let Saitama's appearance be the beginning of everything. 3, 2, 1, kill shot, participate, sure to win, the supreme and the strongest. Boom. With the sudden violent music, the fist thrown by hatred tore the air, but it hit the air, and an air ring exploded. People, all the spectators in front of the TV were also dumbfounded, and suddenly disappeared out of thin air. The cheers that followed, this must have been rescued. What the hell is going on, encounter setbacks. I'm overwhelming. The network devices all over Times Square are still playing music. Roar, who is it? And where did this sound come from? The hatred of being rescued by the prey in his hand roared loudly, and the sudden music made him irritated. This should be my BGM. There was a voice behind him, turning his head in disgust, and the cameraman in the midair helicopter zoomed in. One strike. It's over. Streak winning streak. Shout out. Always win undefeated. Crush everything. The one who appeared in front of everyone was wearing a full-body beige suit, a white cloak, and no eyebrows. He was an ordinary or even slightly sluggish bald man with a little girl in his arms. The one who appeared in front of everyone was wearing a full-body beige suit, a white cloak, and no eyebrows. He was an ordinary or even slightly sluggish bald man with a little girl in his arms. Some fans who are watching TV have their eyes widened, and their eyes are about to fly out, especially the comic critic Edward's brain is like a paste, his limbs are cold, the words of his mouth rise to the throat and he is swallowed, and then again ascended, I couldn't say anything I wanted to shout. Spider-Man Peter Parker stared at the man blankly at the scene, this familiar salted fisheye, this familiar cloak, this familiar clothes and gloves, isn't this the Saitama in, One Punch Man? Peter was silly on the spot, cosplay. No, he thought of the teenager who was suspected of Jin Muyin before. Could it be true? Thinking of this, Peter's face was full of excitement, his hands and feet were also sharp, and a thread popped out to pull Iron Man out. Mr. Stark, we can be saved. Boy, what are you talking about, Shet, who hacked my jaw with? Tony ignored what Peter said, the music from the helmet kept him bewildered, calling jaw whis only intermittently. As his proud work, the artificial intelligence jaw whis was hacked by the invasion, which was more shocking than his weakness and abomination. Boy, are you a superhero? Disgust walked in front of Saitama with great strides, and said with interest. Look around, it's all about being a hero. Power, get power, Intel close to your limit. Quickly turn off the annoying music, or I will blow your head with one punch. I hate being annoyed by the music from all directions, and I always feel like it is aimed at him. What kind of hits and winning streaks are like singing? Saitama spread his hands and said helplessly, I didn't play this music. There are also heroes I am just interested in, and they should be a little different from them. 
Saatama of the salted fish still speaks the salted fish, even his tone of voice is indifferent. Hero, whether it's praising my voice or cheering me, none of these are needed. Holding up the iron fist who is blessed by God, I desperately immersed myself in a dash. Enough, I will kill you now, your ridiculous interest. The abomination roared like a hill, the terrifying sound resounded across the sky and the earth, covering the music of the audience for a while, and the beast-like body surface began to bulge, stacking up like a rock. Click. In the next instant, the ground under the feet of abomination cracked straight, dense cobweb-like cracks bloomed, two strides, both fists merged into a huge hammer head and smashed towards Saitama's light head. Hero, I don't know when I will taste the taste of defeat, but before that, let's fight Hero. Run, Mr. Fantastic Reed yelled immediately upon seeing this, and Susan closed his eyes even more. They could already predict what would happen next. However, Saitama's complexion was still light and breezy, looking at the fist that was getting closer and closer to him, the fist wind stirred the wind pressure to blow away all the dust, and there was a thunder-like sonic boom in his ears. Even so, Saitama seems to be blown by the breeze, and the salted fish feels light and refreshing. In fact, the fist in Saitama's eyes became slower and slower or even stopped, and he slammed his fist against the abdomen, which was two meters away, and blasted into the air faster than lightning. Boom! The sky was shocked, and the deafening roar of thunder resounded through the sky. Lonely hero! All the fans in front of the TV were in the horrified gazes of others, and their faces were full of excitement and crazy hysterical shouts. Saitama! Aerospace Carrier! Collison looked at the ultra-clear display with a horrified expression, his heart was even more chaotic, and he turned his head to look at Nick Fury without a god. Ha! Huh, the director's face turned pale, and he was frightened. Collison calmly placed it as if he hadn't noticed it at all, and swallowed it down. Secretly panicked and said, It's over, can the team be set up and still be able to catch it? No need to think about it. Agents including Hill looked at the big screen, and the documents, coffee, etc. in their hands fell directly to the ground, and the crisp sound couldn't attract their attention. All S.H.I.E.L.D. personnel were dumbfounded, besides them, the military leaders and the audience in front of the TV were dumbfounded. Only the fans were reveling and shouting, and some couldn't help booing on the spot when they were excited. He didn't feel hatred at all, he just remembered to smash his fist and then nothing happened. If there is any movement, only the fierce mouth is a little bit cold, and before he has time to look down, the chill swept across the whole body. I'm dead. The hatred was a bit embarrassing, he didn't know if it was dead, and he disappeared with this thought. In everyone's sight, hatred is like tattered cotton wool, disappearing from the abdomen and spreading throughout the body, more like a balloon with no swelling suddenly exploding. They don't know which description is more appropriate. In short, they can't use words to describe the scene they saw. The splash of blood fell like rain, and a bloody rainbow appeared out of thin air, adding a bit of color to the ruined street. Saitama was depressed after a punch. It's another punch. Although it was another punch, he only needed to know that what Shumo said was true, and the world should let him do his best to opponents. Big brother, what's your name? It's really amazing. The little girl in her arms looked up at Saitama and asked. Her face was stained with blood but there was no trace of fear but a look of worship. He is the hero, the most powerful hero. Saatama put down the little girl and touched the soaked hair, smiled slightly, Saatama, let's go. He he he, the little girl has forgotten all her fears. As long as she has Saatama by her side, she feels extremely safe. She takes her hand and Saatama and walks to the barrier line in the distance. But the matter was far from over. A violent roar arose from the ground, and the sky changed drastically, the clouds overlapped, and the sun was covered. Thunderbolt in the blue sky, dark clouds looming over the city, and a dry and heavy atmosphere enveloped the entire Manhattan sky. The incomparable suffocation is unspeakable. The media reporters in the helicopter in the sky just feel short of breath, ignoring the shaking of the camera and hurried people away from this place of right and wrong. The falling sky caused Saitama to stagnate, and the little girl walked out on her own. Knowing that she could not help, the little girl ran behind a bunker to hide, and a small head popped up. Saatama looked back, and the concrete surface not far away began to crack, and then rubble burst and splashed around, and a huge green monster jumped out. The original color in Hulk size has disappeared, 
a touch of green filled his pupils, and his hands hammered down the fierce mouth, roaring full of anger. Hulk, now Hulk has lost his reason, the effect of the inhibitor is no longer, and Banner's personality is directly kicked. With a fierce gleam in his eyes and a hideous face, his body enlarged by three points, and white air was exhaled from his nostrils, like a crazy beast. With a fierce gleam in his eyes and a hideous face, his body enlarged by three points, and white air was exhaled from his nostrils, like a crazy beast. Invincible Hulk Hulk stepped forward, and the hard ground collapsed to form a pit, and the fierce burrow leapt into a fierce roar. The air was suddenly squeezed out to form a vacuum zone, and the overwhelming sound waves suddenly erupted, and the Earth's surface was overwhelmed and lifted up like a circular fan. The rubble shot out like a shower, and the ruins were blown away directly. Even the superheroes such as Iron Man were blown back again and again by the air waves. However, Saatama stood in front of him like a majestic mountain. The gusty wind howled, the gravel rainstorm was stopped by him, not a single trace. The little girl behind her was not hit by any wind or stone, looking at her back like a god with a face full of worship. A weird person in this world is really weird. Saatama, who was dangling the salted fish eyes against the strong wind, was a little surprised, always feeling that this was an amazing ability. Although Hulk is a bit more human than hatred, there is no doubt that it is a proper green-skinned monster in the weird world. Hey, Shumo said that the greener the more angry the stronger, and no one knows the limit so far. Will it grow to, that, dot the alien with hair like a pineapple? Saatama patted the melon seeds, revealing a little bit of curiosity and doubt. Such weird people are really rare in his world. Hulk thumped the ground like a gorilla and ran up to the limit. With the roar of the mountain swaying like beasts, the bones and muscles directly expanded in a circle, and it smashed down with a low growl. Bang! Facing the unstoppable fist, Saatama didn't change his face, and still raised his hand slowly without panic, then opened his palm, seeming to block Hulk's huge fist very casually. With a different body shape, Saitama's hand looked extremely fragile, but just like this, Hulk's attack was stopped, without the slightest shaking, and his fist was firmly clasped. Hulk, who left the wind behind, could directly block the rolling wind pressure of his fist, and the airflow suddenly stagnated. Hulk opened his mouth wide and snarled at Saitama. The cells all over his body were called up, and the veins were directly violent, but despite this effort, he couldn't make Saatama back a point. It was like a big mountain standing in front of him, his strength was not even worthy of the other party's shoes. The dark green eyes were replaced by scarlet, Hulk's monstrous anger broke out again, and the whole body was taller than hatred. The muscles of the whole body swell, and its explosive strength can be detected from the outside. Tony estimates that as long as he rubs the edge mark number 7 it will be scrapped. He began to conceive of dealing with enemies of this size, and the preliminary drawings of the anti-Hulk armor have been modeled. Hulk's right fist blasted towards Saatama again with a terrifying sonic boom, Saatama did not defend or counterattack, but slid his head and dodged. Bang, 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 frequent sonic booms exploded in Manhattan, and Hulk launched a stormy attack towards Saatama. However, Saatama evaded them all by one foot. The more Hulk hit, the more angry, the more useless anger filled his heart, his whole body became stronger and stronger again and again, which made Saatama a little moved. Shall we punch it first? Chapter 101 Hulk Hulk became more and more rage, a small bug always couldn't catch, but Saatama easily avoided it and made him furious. Not long after, Saatama stopped and looked at Hulk, who was almost 7 meters tall, and his eyes were full of blood and he swung iron fist straight. The light green air currents fluctuated behind him, and Saatama watched quietly instead of evasive. In the eyes of others, Saatama seems to be in a daze, and some people whisper secretly. Does Saatama blow up Hulk like hate? The answer is all wrong. Bang! The thunderous slamming sound resounded through the sky, and the powerful force stirred the airflow to wash in all directions. The terrifying shock wave swept the entire Times Square. All the glass in the distant streets was shattered and the dust was blown away. Everyone's eyes are about to jump out of their sockets, their hearts are chilling, and the whole person's hair is horrified. I saw that Saatama was hit by Hulk's giant punch, his head was slightly moved to the side, but the whole person didn't move. Hit, Nick Fury, who was originally pale on the Sky Carrier, began to recover from his dark darkness. 
No one knew how much pressure he was under. Saitama's appearance is really compelling, just a punch that blows the hatred, which is really shocking. Just this time he turned the manga magazine upside down, and he knew Saitama's abilities and Saitama's weakness as well. But there is no use at all, what is the weakness? The ghost knows, is it a cat or a mosquito? What is the ability? Does one punch count as an ability? There is no useful information after looking through it for so long, he just saw it more clearly than the senior leaders of the Heroes Association in the comics. To be honest, until now he doesn't know how to deal with this matter, only to report it to the Security Council. Since it can be hit by Hulk, this shows that there is still a limit. Nick Fury, who thinks about this place, starts to regain his confidence. He firmly believes that this world has no fists that can kill in seconds. But the next moment he pinched his face up and twitched. Saw Atama, who was on the side of his head, straightened his head and turned towards Hulk, who was close at hand, dissatisfied, your fist has no power at all, it's not as good as Perot's head. The power of Perot's head is the strongest weirdo he has ever seen. The heavy fists, the astonishing speed and the superb fighting skills make a series of rainy offensives that are dizzying. After Saitama realized this power, there was a slight wave in the heart of the stagnant water, if the head of Poirot was stronger. No power at all. This sentence directly pierced into Hulk's self-esteem. No one has ever said this to him so far. Hulk, Hulk expressed dissatisfaction, and kept beating his fierce mouth, his violent eyes were full of fierceness, and he once again punched thunder-like fists on the ground. Saitama raised his hand plainly, clenched his fist, shook it out, and slammed into Hulk's huge fist in one go. Bang! Unstoppable power burst out suddenly from the hitting point, and instantly spread from the arm, Hulk shifted a bit instinctively. He only felt that his body was paralyzed for a while, and his right arm burst directly in the next instant, and then this terrifying force spread to the body like an insect. He only felt that his body was paralyzed for a while, and his right arm burst directly in the next instant, and then this terrifying force spread to the body like an insect. The rock muscles on the tough body surface were crazily disintegrating. At this moment, Hulk fell to the ground like a porcelain doll, cracks bursting out endlessly. The crack madly struck Hulk's right body, an almost fearful expression appeared in his mind, and he let out a painful growl. The blood burst out immediately, spilling into the sky, and General Ross and Betty in the sky not far away were chilled. In the eyes of others, after the two punches collided, Hulk's right arm burst directly and at the same time passed along the arm to the right half of the body. The result was that the entire right half of the body was directly blown up. In addition to starting to instinctively move his head, Hulk's head was not divided into half, but half of the entire body was erased. At the same time, the building behind Hulk's right side went straight to the air in an oblique upward direction, disappearing for hundreds of meters along the way, leaving nothing but dust. The Iron Man was at the scene with cold sweat pouring down from his forehead, and Mr. Fantastic just helped the invisible woman to get up and saw that her hind limbs were soft and she sat back on the ground. At this time, layers of air waves began to spread out, scouring dust everywhere, and the late sonic boom rolled against the airflow, causing the hair of the people present to be messy for a while. Peter's dry lips were closed together, and he whispered softly, it's really another punch. Say the same thing as him as Nick Fury. Collison glanced at the director secretly again, bluffing, not turning pale, but shaking involuntarily all over his body, completely frightened to the point of reshaping the three views. Chief, are you all right? Detecting the power of this punch, what are you doing? Don't act fast. Nick Fury patted the console and yelled at the agents who were panicking below. After he finished roaring, he felt a bit dry in his throat and swallowed his saliva. Woo! With only half of his body left, Hulk fell softly in a pool of green blood, extremely miserable, blood was pouring out wildly, making a whimper. Hey, I actually moved away a little by instinct. Forget it, I can't live anyway. Saitama saw this, said plain words, and was about to turn around and leave. Yu Guangming glanced at it and was surprised. This is, Hulk's wound unexpectedly began to heal. From the broken wound in the left body, cells and blood vessels began to spread, and the muscles automatically connected. In less than two minutes, the right body, which was intact, grew out. The audience in front of the TV clearly realized how powerful Hulk's super healing ability is. All those who knew that Hulk was powerful were silent at this moment. 
The military arrested Hulk many times and threw all weapons, except for the nuclear bomb. But now, he was beaten by Saitama with just one punch, even though it is now full of blood and resurrected in place, what's the use? Just a few more punches. General Rose, who wanted to catch Hulk many times, couldn't help but shudder, and his daughter Betty quickly let the driver approach. Hulk, Hulk didn't growl loudly before, but yelled slightly, Saitama saw it, and said in secret, this weird person is really strong, or else he would make a continuous normal punch. Then raised his fist, Hulk watched Saitama's movements in fear, and the personality of Hulk in his heart was so frightened that he retreated quickly, pulling a few steps behind his big feet, very humane, raising his hands to hug his head, and whispered. Hulk suddenly looked like a child crying after being abused by an adult. He shook his hands in front of him to signal not to come over. The whole person was in a circle, and at the same time his body began to shrink. Hulk was in fear, and he felt the breath of death just under that fist. He was like an extremely weak ant, crushed to death anytime and anywhere without a scum. He doesn't know how to resist, because he knows how to resist is useless, only quietly waiting for the final arrival. Hulk was terrified, the anger had disappeared and he was completely frightened. He went straight back, so that as long as Saitama was there in the future, he would not come out. Hulk's body surface began to fade, and within a few seconds he became Dr. Banner, who actually had a pair of underwear. Banner turned back to the original state and was embarrassed. It was really terrible just now. I was thinking that I would die in my mind. In fact, he really wanted to get rid of it, because it was because of him that hatred was born, and the battle between the two brought Manhattan into a standstill. The death and injury cannot be estimated, and he doesn't know how many sins he has to pay to clear himself. Ha, huh, humans, can weirdos turn back to humans? Saitama's eyes widened, and he blurted out exclaimed when he saw the transformation with his own eyes. Is this a weirdo or a human? He was a little at a loss, seeing this situation for the first time. Call, a helicopter flew in the distance, and Betty descended directly from the air along the rope, shouting, Banna. Banner is not a bad guy. Running quickly to Banner, his hands stretched out like a hen protecting a chick in front of him, looking at the breezy Saitama anxiously. Banner is not Hulk, he was forced. Betty confided like bitterness, and at the same time separated Banner and Hulk, and the responsibility was transferred to the hatred that forced Hulk and Chowzizi. However, Saitama didn't have any meaning at all. Hearing this woman's head was big, she patted her clothes and left. Now that he has become a weak human being, Saitama doesn't bother to care about these messes. Looking at the background of Saitama's departure, Iron Man, who was beaten beyond recognition, left alone. As for what anime and manga character Peter said to him ran out and waited, it was nonsense. But when he returns to the beach house and restarts Jawwis, he should know how serious the situation is. Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Woman left to fish for the Thunderbolt and the Stoneman, helping each other back home. They are not obsessed, and now they are all over water. They can only sigh that there are some outsiders in the world, and there are heavens outside the world. The boss who was killed in five hits in one group is so simple and rude to knock out, things are volatile. And Peter looked depressed at Iron Man's departure, and now they can't help it if they don't believe it, Thinking of this, the white silk swayed out, and the direction was Shumo's villa. Outside the Manhattan cordon, the military and police deployed a large amount of manpower and material resources to pull up the blockade to prevent anyone from entering. The noisy and clamoring lack of a TV would undoubtedly lag much behind the news. You can only find out about the situation through your mobile social circle. Some boring people stood at the mouth of the ruins and uploaded a tweet together to prove that they were on the scene, and more of them prayed to God that their loved ones and friends were fine. A young couple begged the soldiers to save their daughter, but they were treated indifferently and rudely. Disheartened, they can only stare at the ruins without godly, and their inability to do anything is their portrayal. Someone is walking this way, like a bald head. Someone is walking this way, like a bald head. I saw it too, he took a little girl. Some sharp-eyed onlookers looked sideways. At this time, are the survivors coming out? When the couple heard a gleam of hope in their eyes, they quickly helped to get up. The soldiers stared at Saitama as they walked out, and the leader at the head seemed to be listening. Looking at the bald head, a flash of light flashed, telling the soldiers not to stop him. 
saw Atama walk through the cordon, and the couple struggled to squeeze in. When they saw the little girl, they turned from despair to joy. The wife rushed forward and grabbed the little girl and held it in her arms. The man choked with tears, thank you so much, what's the name of the hero? The people next to him also gave warm applause, happy that a living life was saved. My eldest brother is Saatama, dad, he is the most powerful hero who killed the bad guy with one punch. The little girl in her arms interrupted and excited, as if she was a hero. He is Saatama, teacher Saatama. At this moment, a man in the crowd screamed and hurried to Saatama to ask for a photo. The husband and wife were a little puzzled, and the others were also puzzled. This action was like seeing a celebrity and couldn't control them at all. But they didn't remember this person at all. The little girl broke free and shouted at Saatama, Big brother, my name is Rachel, I will always remember you. At this time, the officer brought the soldiers forward with a smile on his face and kindly said, This hero, our president and minister hope to talk to you in detail and listen to the heroic deeds. When Saatama heard the words, he dangled his eyes and replied, Backquote, if I don't go, I want to go home and play games. Quote, secretly said, What heroic deeds, the trouble is too painful, it is better to play the game refreshingly. As soon as this remark came out, the onlookers next to him were surprised, what game could be more expensive than meeting the president above? Although the president of the United States is all weird, not everyone can meet the president. The officer did not expect such an answer, and was suppressed with a trace of irritation, and said solemnly, ahem, our general would like to ask how you defeated the criminal. It's simple, there is nothing in the world that can't be solved with one punch. If there is, then two punches. Quote dot 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 quote. The scene fell into silence, everyone was dumbfounded, what the hell did you say? There is only one man who is very excited, and the whole person hates to stick to Saatama, yelling, yes, isn't it simple? As long as you become bald. When Saatama heard it, his face turned dark, and he became displeased and fascinated, you are a bald, uh, shut up. Manmi took the photo happily. The officer looked at the two inconsistently, the blue veins on his forehead were about to burst out, and he sternly said, you are called Saatama, right? As a superhero, you need to be cautious in your words and deeds, and be supervised by the citizens. I hope you can answer seriously. Quote. Following the commander's exhortation, the soldiers immediately stared at Saatama. As soldiers, they hated personal heroism, especially this kind of indifferent people. Saatama glanced around and shouted to the chief. Listen to me clearly. I don't want your recognition to be a hero. It's because I want to be the only one. Who cares about your ministers, presidents or citizens? It's my business. Quote dot 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 quote. The scene fell into silence once again, and everyone was dumbfounded at the same time. Why do you want to be a hero? It's not about heroes. Are you a hero? Today's Americans have grown up under the influence of Captain America for 70 years. The heroic dedication represented by Captain Steve is the mainstream, and there is no other hero concept at all. Hero and dedication are an equal sign, there is no other explanation. Therefore, saving one's life is a hero, and a hero will definitely save others. It is necessary to sacrifice oneself, but isn't a hero only being named by the people? This naming is to admit, to ask others to identify, not to say that you are a hero or a hero. And Saitama's words are like throwing waves into a calm lake and getting stronger. Is he kidding? What does it mean to want to be a talent? I shouldn't pat my butt and leave. Ah, maybe it's not clear. What does he mean is that when he wants to save someone, he will save someone, but he won't save if he doesn't want to save. It doesn't feel right. It should be that the hero does not need others to acknowledge, and the president has no right to interfere. 320 inches no right to interfere. What if the hero becomes a criminal? For a while, the melon eaters who had a slight preference for Saatama frowned, whispered to each other, and some people began to imagine whether the hero needs to be managed. This is the beginning of the budding folk thoughts of the Superhero Registration Act. The young man was shocked, because Saitama's remarks were after the meteorite chapter, and now the manga and anime have not been synchronized yet, so he woke up and quickly took notes. Worthy of being a hero of interest. Every sentence is an impact on existing heroism. But in fact, Saitama also said, if the hero runs, who will fight, it is an interpretation of hero dedication. 
contradictions, no contradiction, Saitama's values are slightly different from those of normal people. He is interested in being a hero, ignoring other people's ideas and making his own, but he knows what a hero does. He also did it at the same time. This point is very prominent in the meteorite chapter. The falling of a meteorite will cause heavy casualties, so it will be blown. He has no interest in knowing the property damage caused afterwards. Can the person Ajij, not die? Just hate other hates, what does it have to do with me? This is Saitama's personal charm. But in Marvel Universe, this heroic concept can be called a crooked way, a challenge to orthodox heroic dedication. How can a hero not be recognized and recognized as a hero by others? Don't people give Tony a nickname like Iron Man? Spider-Man, Punisher, Daredevil and even criminals were given the code names by others to be crowned. The officer turned into anger, and said in a deep voice, Saitama, a hero like you will not be recognized. It doesn't matter, you just think what you want. Saitama dangled his eyes and waved his hand flatly, then turned around and planned to leave. Saitama, you have to think clearly about the rules here in the land of the United States. Please also meet our general. It was very polite, but anyone could hear the threatening tone. You've been endless, and Ha talked a lot. If I don't want to go, I won't go. What do you do with so much? Are you looking for scolding? You've been endless, and Ha talked a lot. If I don't want to go, I won't go. What do you do with so much? Are you looking for scolding? Facing the officer's repeated invitations, Saitama went back loudly. You, the commander was at a loss for a moment. General Ross said in the communicator that he could not be an enemy of Saitama because he could not fight, but he had to be invited to the Ministry of Defense. General Ross meant to ask Saitama to talk to them with righteousness and public opinion. At this time, the senior leaders did not know about the comics. It took a few hours before they knew that moral kidnapping of Saitama was futile. Click, all the guns and the soldiers, hands were aimed at Saitama, holding the trigger and waiting for orders. Saitama's big drink is a threat in the eyes of the soldiers. On the land of the United States, blacks who took their mobile phones from their arms would be judged by the white police that they were the first to shoot and kill with a gun, and nothing happened afterwards. All of a sudden, the atmosphere filled with tension, and the eater, including the couple and the fans, quickly dispersed, the bullets didn't have long eyes. This scene was directly filmed by the helicopter's live camera. Frontline reporters wanted to catch up to interview one or two to obtain first-hand information, but they didn't expect to have such an amazing picture. As a media reporter for the Uncrowned King, he has already thought about the title of tomorrow. Shocked, the hero who saved Manhattan was trapped by the military. The confrontation between the hero and the military represents the loss of morality or or the incompetent military can only target heroes. This type of product is definitely eye-catching, not to mention the sales volume. The audience in front of the TV was also uncomfortable. They didn't see how powerful they were when they hit the monsters. Suddenly, mail complaining to the Ministry of Defense flooded the president like snowflakes. Saitama looked at each other coldly. He didn't bother to punch these rookies. On the other hand, the officer was a bit unable to get off the stage and didn't know what to do. At this moment, there was a burst of sound from the distant horizon, and everyone heard the reputation, and a human figure appeared, not an iron man but a flying person. But this woman should not be a normal human being. The number of shocked young man fans today is higher than that of last year. What did he see? A living Genos. Ah, why does Genos have two balls in front of him and still has short and medium hair? Hiss. Women's Genos. Horrible. Manmi took a breath directly, trembling all over. The fans in front of the TV are also dumbfounded, what the hell? Isn't Janos a handsome guy? How can she be a heroic girl? I want to report Marvel Comics' deception. Now it is blue sky and white day, no longer dark and vague. As soon as Gia Luosi landed on the ground, her appearance and appearance looked like Janos, and people familiar with her could tell it at a glance. Teacher. After Gia Luosi landed, she shouted to Saitama, which made Manmi excited and rushed up nervously. Genos, let's take a group photo. Gia Luosi glared sideways, stopped walking with a dry laugh, and secretly said with joy, as expected, it was abnormally cold. This maniac can be regarded as a joke, not annoyed but excited, it is not a loss for a handsome guy to become a beautiful girl. 
If anyone in the world is most familiar with Saitama and Yanos, except Shu Mo, it is the animation group in the company. One Punch Man was typed out one by one by their own hands. The drawings, interior scenes, etc. above were all conceived, and every detail was clearly known. Even the original painting shown by Saitama has been seen many times. But they are just ashamed now. Really, this is cosplay, it can't exist, this is a virtual character. The man in the comic ran out, and don't be different. It's impossible to run out, maybe the boss knew Saitama and then used it as inspiration to draw a comic painting. Yes, it is possible. In short, it is impossible for comics to run out of people, even if the ability of mutants is impossible. The employees in the company fell into extreme silence when facing the display on the wall, and then began to vent their thoughts in the next moment. There was tension, excitement, excitement, and panic. All of them floated on their faces. They couldn't control themselves one by one, and the whole floor began to noisy. Natasha looked at the display screen blankly, restoring all the scenes on it. As an employee, she handled everything in the company with due diligence. But as an agent, she was seriously dereliction of duty. During this period, she didn't have any useful information. She had been inquiring about news with Jin Muyan who was next to her, but it was useless. Wait, Jin Muyan. Natasha's eyes were big and her heart trembled. She clearly remembered that the protagonist in the Ghoul comic was named Jin Muyan. With a strong memory, she vaguely remembers that Jin Mu was also laughed at by employees and colleagues that day that she had obtained the same name. It was a coincidence. Just a joke. Coincidence. Natasha used the power of shield to turn all the information of Jinmu upright and there was nothing wrong with it. The suspicious director Nick Fury didn't think it was a coincidence, so Natasha kept staring at Jinmu. As she explored the fruitlessness and was about to give up, Saitama appeared, his strength was not inconsistent with that shown in the comics. In this way, is this Jinmuyan really Jinmuyan? Natasha Warong suddenly turned pale and mechanically turned to the golden wood that was typing on the keyboard next door, only to hear him sigh. Today's work is completed, I don't think you need me to teach you future work, right? Shield agent. As soon as the voice fell, Natasha's face suddenly turned pale, and her limbs couldn't lift her strength. This was the agent's biggest failure. He knows it. He and Shumo knew from the beginning that I had sneaked in and explored everything, so they let someone in to deal with them, attracting S-H-I-E-L-D's attention with the same name. In fact, the company doesn't have any information. S.H.I.E.L.D. is just a jumper and Joker is played around. At this moment, Natasha understood everything, she just came to catch a turtle in the urn, please jump in without asking. Jin Mu closed the computer, took out the resignation letter from Andy out of the backpack and placed it in front of Natasha, and said with a blank expression, it is good for both parties to resign by yourself. A group of people around were talking about it, and the heated atmosphere formed a sharp contrast with the solidified air between the two. Natasha was stuck in place. This had nothing to do with force. This was a total crush on strategy. As the largest spy agency on the planet, SHI. Natasha was stuck in place. This had nothing to do with force. This was a total crush on strategy. As the largest spy agency on the planet, SHI. Shumo is really a scary person. Natasha secretly feels about Shumo who has never met before. Nonetheless, Natasha did not give up. Since Jin Muyan knew everything, he would do it first. People were quickly tied up to the Sky Sky Carrier, but Shumo didn't react. Even if he wanted to find it, he couldn't find it. Then S.H.I.E.L.D. would be able to pry what he wanted from Jin Muyun's mouth. Natasha first picked up the pen to fill out the resignation letter, looked at Jin Muyun slowly, but was stared at by the scarlet pupils in the dark sockets of her left eye. The cold hair suddenly exploded, and the whole person was as cold as if he had fallen into an ice cave, and he wanted to pierce it directly with a pen but found that he had become a fish on the board. Whenever there was a movement, he would be directly pressed and cut to death. At this moment, it suddenly appeared that if the young man in front of him came according to the comics, he would be a ghoul. The comics do not mean reality, the blue-eyed white dragon was hit by the game at the beginning, but in fact it is a missile with amazing mass destruction. So this Jin Mukin cannot be the Jin Mukin shown in the comics, otherwise it would not be felt like this. We must know that Jin Muyin in the comics is still a very weak young man. 
This is the human response to powerful creatures seeking advantages and avoiding disadvantages, even an agent with extremely high psychological qualities like Natasha is shy at this moment. Give up, I just killed you in an instant. Jin Muyin's expression was indifferent, and he warned. The choice Shumo gave me is not to kill you. Leaving quietly now is your contribution to the company these days. Natasha took a deep breath and finished signing, looking at the golden wood whose eyes had changed back to the original shape, she got up and walked out. Looking back when they left, the employees didn't know what was going on. They focused on the screen and shook their heads secretly. It seems that this company has no secrets at all, and can only be found directly from Shumo. What kind of power is it? Dot 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 dot. Andy in the office was also not at peace. He was not as big as an old fried dough stick today, so he hurriedly called Shumo. Shumo, what is going on here? It's nothing, it's just acquaintance. Of course my friend came up with this comic and I would agree. You, Shumo is not that simple. People all over the world will know in less than 20 minutes. The more you know that the higher the sales, it's not just right. Uncle Andy doesn't have to worry about other things. If the media asks you, you just say you don't know. Oh, I don't know what you are hiding, but as a friend of your father, I can only persuade you. According to your celestial people, you have to think twice. Of course, things did not exceed my expectations. Shumo happily hung up the phone. He was no longer on the Broadway rooftop but was sitting on the sofa watching TV, waiting for things to ferment. He doesn't need to prepare anything, strength is everything. Shumo sorted out the previous lottery by the way and spent 10 million fans. In addition to the two pieces of Saitama that have been synthesized, there are also Monkey, D. Luffy Fragments X2, Grey's Ice Modeling Magic, Stone Ghost Mask, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Shadow Scissors, Doraemon, Dragon Slayer, Naz Fragment X3. Manhattan Cordon. When Saitama saw him, he was stunned. How did Yanos become a girl? Transforming people are so capricious. Oh, Genos, why are you doing this? Gia Luosi looked at Saitama expressionlessly and replied, Teacher, my name is Gia Luosi now. It is a robot made by the master Shumo. It has all the memories and personality of Genos. Although Gialuo C is a night metal robot made by Skynet, its central CPU is made up of the memory of Yanos. Quote dot dot dot. Gia, cough, Jerome, let's go. Saitama doesn't know what to say. Since he has the memory and personality of Yanos, it should be okay to call him a teacher, right? Forget it, so be it. The troublesome Saitama did not refuse. Since there was one before, it is not a big deal to recognize one now, and he does not bother to think about whether the two are equal. 680. Yes, teacher. Gia Luosi followed behind Saitama to leave. But the surrounding soldiers kept pointing their guns at them, without any intention of giving way. Gia Luosi looked back at the officer, raised her right hand directly at him, and said politely, don't be rude to the teacher. As he spoke, his right hand transformed into a multi-machine gun barrel-like flowing water, and faint blue particles appeared. Gialuos only has three original Genos parts, and only one incinerator is loaded, but it doesn't mean that Genos is inferior. Genos had to replace everything that was damaged by the expenditure warrior, and Gialuosi could be as good as ever as long as the metal properties of the night state were not bad enough. In addition, the ion cannon, the strongest weapon on board, is not as lethal as the incinerator, but it has a long battery life. In general, Gialuosi's explosive output is not as powerful as Yanos, and the battle can be fully balanced, and he can still fight even under severe damage. The officer's face was ugly. At this time, the communicator in his ear heard General Ross's annoyance, and he couldn't help looking up at the camera in the midair helicopter, even more annoyed. He spoke word by word, let go. The soldiers had to put their guns down and split out a path with dissatisfaction. Manmi and media reporters wanted to catch up, but found that Gia Luosi and Saitama were so fast that they disappeared in a short while. In the Trident building, Nick Fury kept issuing tracking orders, calling satellites and street probes, but no figures were found. At this time, Commander Hill brought even worse news and hesitated, Director, Agent Natasha has been discovered. Bang! Hearing this, Nick Fury immediately slapped the table angrily, and shouted in a low voice, How are you now? It's okay, Agent Natasha has uploaded the situation. 
Hill used the tablet to transmit to the small display in front of Nick Fury, which was full of Natasha's report on her resignation. Nick Fury, who was getting more and more obsessed, waited patiently to read it all. He hugged his forehead with his hands, and no one saw his face. Hill shook his head secretly, lamenting that S.H.I.E.L.D. had been completely defeated in this spy operation. After a while, Nick Fury suddenly raised his head and said, now that we are holding a secret meeting of the Security Council on the security of the Earth, we must take action, otherwise we will lose the initiative. Yes, Hill looked up fiercely and resolutely responded. In another office in the building, here is the office of Nick Fury's old boss, Alexander Pierce, the former director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Pierce is now an intermediary between S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Security Council, responsible for coordination and communication between the two parties. When Nick Fury reported the situation to the Security Council, he himself received a report like this. As the high-level council of the council did not know about the comics, Nick Fury started directly from the blue-eyed white dragon at the beginning and talked about a series of incidents up to now. As the high-level council of the council did not know about the comics, Nick Fury started directly from the blue-eyed white dragon at the beginning and talked about a series of incidents up to now. This kid is so capable, find someone to see if he can take it in. After reading the report, Pierce narrowed his eyes. After a moment of contemplation, he took out a strange button and pressed it. After waiting for a while, a strong white man walked in, and when he came back, no one closed the door. Rumlow, ask people to pay attention to this person all the time, let people try it out first. Rumlow said nothing but picked up the photo, nodded and went out. Pierce closed his eyes and secretly said, Fury's shield has grown stronger and stronger, and we will take over the Hydra on it later. In addition to being the former head of S.H.I.E.L.D., Pierce also has an identity as one of the Hydra spy chiefs. And Brock Rumlow appears to be the captain of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s Rapid Response Special Forces, but in fact he is also a member of Hydra, codenamed Crossbones. Nick Fury never thought that Hydra had penetrated so deeply, and at the same time began to intervene in the matter of Shu Mo. Manhattan Effect Area, A Villa, Peter yelled in Shu Mo's ear, and at the same time danced, Shu Mo, is he really saw Tama? It's great, what else, I'm just interested in it, it's so cool. Shu Mo broke out in a cold sweat, but he didn't expect that Saitama's appearance would have such a big impact on Peter. Once he came in, it was not enough to say so long. When Jia Luo brought Saitama back to the villa, he saw Peter excited in it. When Peter saw it, his eyes glowed and rushed to Saitama. Miss Saitama, teach me how to become stronger. This time, the five-on-one attack was also a big blow to the little spider, and the spider silk of such a big opponent was simply powerless. So I want to become stronger urgently. Saitama looked at Peter with a flat face and said, Since you are Shumo's friend, as long as you can beat me with a game, I will teach you. When Peter heard, he secretly liked that Saitama was so good at playing games, wouldn't he be determined to win? Sure enough, Saitama was beaten 3-0 by Peter, sitting in front of the game console with a dazed expression, and the handle slipped directly from his hand. Saitama looked up to the sky unwillingly and shouted, How is this possible? Obviously, after changing the world, he was abused again. Saitama had to solemnly said, My secret to becoming stronger is 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and a 10-kilometer long run. When Peter heard this, he was depressed and said, but Mr. Saitama, I do it every day, but I haven't gotten stronger at all, and my head is not bald. He understands all of these, but it's useless. Peter, it might be possible. How many times do you do it a day? Shumo interjected with a flash of light in his eyes. Peter wondered, how many times? Isn't it once? Go back and read the comics. Do you really think this training is so easy? Shumo took Peter's handle and saw Thomas started your visit. Peter frowned and quickly ran out and swiftly went home, rumbling around and finally found the comic. At this time, a paragraph in the comic made Peter's whole body terrified, and he took a breath. Think carefully, just started to die in pain, always thinking that even if I take a day off, even if I'm tired, even if I vomit blood, even if your feet are so painful that you can't move, you still have to squat, even if your arms creak and make a weird noise, you still have to do push-ups practicing to vomit blood, my feet are so painful that I can't move, 
The arm could no longer hold it, and the words waiting came into Peter's sight, and he couldn't help but wonder, what's the matter? The previous paragraph was subconsciously ignored. Everyone sneered at the secret of Saitama training as the people in the comics, because this is not a very difficult training. Someone went to learn to train, and obviously none of them succeeded. But Peter now finds that it is much more than that simple. If it is said that such basic muscle training is not difficult, why do you say, spit blood, arms rang, and, feet can't move? Just like ordinary people do 100 push-ups, does he vomit blood? Obviously this is impossible. Then there is only one possibility that can lead to this result, that is, this person keeps doing push-ups without rest at all so that he passes out of a coma, even continues to do it after waking up. In the same way, 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and a long-distance run of 10 kilometers. These are just ordinary methods if they are treated as a round of training. But what if 10 rounds? How about 100 rounds? 1,000 push-ups, 1,000 sit-ups, or 10,000 push-ups, and 10,000 sit-ups. Squat 1,000 times, 10,000 times, long distance running 100,000 meters, 1 million meters. I exercise all day, and after one round, I will continue the next round. Thinking of this, Peter sat down on the ground. This is what Saitama calls tenton persistence, reaching the ultimate persistence. In persisting, I didn't consider whether I could complete it. As long as I firmly believed that I could become stronger by following this method, no matter how much I did, I didn't think about when I could complete it. There is no limit. Peter stared at the words in the comics, no matter the heat or the cold, he would grit his teeth and do it no matter how painful or tired. This lasted for three years. Is this the strongest way of Saitama? Peter didn't know, he just wanted to give it a try. Saitama, you are too food, let Gia Luosi play with you. Shumo will feel boring after playing. It's no wonder that behind King can crush Saitama with two fingers. All tricks depend on luck, it's strange to win. Didi, a text message came in. Shumo opened it and took a look. He hoped that Peter Spider-Man would succeed. He looked at Saitama, who was addicted to the game, and secretly said, it is difficult to become a strong player like Saitama only by cycling. There is a concept in One Punch Man called a limiter. Due to the differences in power between species and individuals, there are limits that cannot be eliminated no matter how much effort is made. The significance of this limit is to allow various creatures to grow within the scope of not losing the survival consciousness and rationality of the species. This growth limit is called a limiter. It varies from person to person, ordinary people are inherently incompetent, so the limiter is small, while the limiter for superpowers is large. In, one punch, the eccentric is because of various factors that broke the limiter, and the body regenerates into other species, reshaping the limiter. And Saitama is a creature that breaks the limiter but keeps the human body. Was his method of breaking the limiter exercise again and again? The author one did not say, no one knew, not even Saitama himself. Does Marvel Universe have the concept of limiter? Even if there is, Peter is not Saitama, everyone has a different limiter, and even the same method cannot be broken. Thinking of this, Shumo wanted to post a message to persuade him not to be in vain, but the hand who picked up the phone stopped for a moment. Maybe it can be successful. Maybe it can be successful. As long as he is stronger, Peter will not feel useless. The rich rely on technology, and the poor rely on the upgraded Marvel Universe. The limiter is really inaccurate. Shumo greeted Jin Muyan who had returned, and introduced each other. Saitama, who was abused again, did not believe in evil and pulled Jin Muyan into a new round of fighting games. Battle game, if you wait for the 300 hero game to be completed, will it be like this? Shumo's head flashed brightly, and he thought of a strange and interesting scene. Saitama chose the, bald cape man, to play and shouted, look at me for a serious punch. What, not dead yet? How could someone can bear my fist? In the end, after Saitama used all his skills, he desperately found that the record of the bald mantle was 0 to 10. Shumo gave a dry cough, forget it, I hope Saitama can play. I walked to the computer, opened Twitter, and it was full of messages. Sure enough, as he expected, the company's official website forum was the first to explode. You may not believe it, I saw Saitama. Hehe. <laughs> 
You don't believe me when I say it, I still saw Genos, the women's clothing. Are you stupid upstairs, who doesn't know the TV show? Weak, ask, what the hell is going on? My first impression was that the man in the comics ran out. I don't believe it, it should be cosplay, this is a special effect, it is a special effect. Is it good to recognize the reality? The special effect has broken Times Square into a mess. The official hasn't responded so far, it always feels like a big deal. Now the manga is going to be sold out. Maybe the manga artist knows Saitama and draws it to make money, and he will make a lot of money when he comes on stage. Since there is Saitama, is there still my little Jinmu? For a time, both Edward Twitter and forums gathered a large number of fans, and at the same time, more and more unfamiliar ids appeared. It can be said that comics have gradually entered the eyes of everyone in the world. They immediately think that they are paper people who have run out, but they can then deny it. Bias and Nick Fury's guess. It is the comic created by Shumo after he met him as the protagonist. Otherwise, how would you explain it? When encountering unknown events, people always want to use known knowledge to guess and explain. So most people in the world just pass by with the correct answer. After browsing, Shumo found that the Department of Defense and the White House were playing down the entire incident, and the previous filming in the media was not allowed to be broadcast. SHIELD's speed is quite fast, and it has begun to suppress public opinion with all its strength, but this is obviously futile. Shumo murmured, and at the same time he had already guessed what the non-chief wanted to do next. Dudu, Shumo, the company has received a joint investigation from the Intellectual Property Office of the Ministry of Commerce and the local state government. Sure enough, return the intellectual property. This one-eyed dragon can really think. Without the ability to tear his face apart, he started rummaging around. Such investigations are not closed down in the United States, but rather to monitor the company's dynamics throughout the entire process but will not interfere with normal operations. Uncle Andy, as long as it doesn't prevent us from publishing comics, we will spread the news at the same time, and at the same time, Zian Mank will publish an additional issue of comics tomorrow. What comic? It's all at the door, how can I not slap my face severely? The next morning. Shumo and others slept until dawn, but many people did not sleep at all. For example, in the military, General Ross took a large number of people to clean the battlefield and at the same time brought back the abhorrent scraps. The Ministry of Defense has sought perfect super soldiers since Captain Steve. In addition to creating the Captain of the United States, they also want a large number of American teams to sweep the world. Because of successful cases, even if a byproduct like Hulk is born, they firmly believe that the dawn of success is in sight. But Saitama's appearance is just a blow to the head, hitting it directly from the top of the head, stunned, punching and hating, whether super soldier Steve kneels when he hits the wind. It can be said that the Ministry of National Defense is full of mixed ginseng from the beginning to the end. There is no happiness at all, it is all confusion, pain, irritability and so on. Pursuing a 70-year plan, but once turned into a rookie. With regard to S.H.I.E.L.D., Nick Fury and the Security Council had an overnight video discussion. At the beginning, it was politicians who acted calmly but began to feel panic as the meeting time took place. After knowing its power, even if they don't think about comics or anything, it makes them feel a sword hanging from their necks, and they can swipe down anytime, anywhere. The plan of the Avengers team was passed immediately, asking money for money, asking people for giving, the only requirement is to be able to control Saitama. In the eyes of them, including non-chiefs, Saitama's danger level surpassed Shumo, surpassed the blue-eyed white dragon, and reached unprecedented heights. This group can also be said to be an anti-Saitama alliance. When Nick Fury walked out of the meeting room, the sky was already bright, and the security of the Trident started patrolling early in the morning, but he could not feel safe at all. He didn't dare to use force to pull the beard of the beast, the result was too great, so he had to use the obvious reasons to monitor Marvel Comics. At the same time, he also found Shumo's residence, but considering the situation, he did not send anyone to monitor him, so Nick Fury is undoubtedly an extremely cautious person. Director, something happened, Commander Hill hurried over, shouted, and handed over a Marvel magazine. This is a friend mank issued by the Target Company this morning, and it is also a collector's edition with the first issue of Juvenile Jump. 
There is only one comic in the entire magazine. Nick Fury took it over with an ugly face, and took a look at it. The cover was five black shadows standing under the crimson full moon, on a large net made up of several silk threads. It seems that the aura is very strong. Cut. Crimson Eye. The name of the comic is composed of blood, which makes Nick Fury dislike, and always feels that it has other meanings. When I turn it over, the simple and straightforward words make him shocked. Asshole. Nick Fury only looked at one sentence, his face was pale and his hands trembled with anger. How dare he? After spreading overnight, even if S.H.I.E.L.D. government suppressed the media, it could not block the population. The live broadcast at that time was still watched by 60% of Americans. It can be said that overnight Marvel Comics became the most well-known company in the United States. The news of Stark Industries' announcement of new energy at the top of the topic list was kicked down. The United States flooded into the official website forums and Edwards' Twitter to discuss Saatama and comics, and countless netizens were making noise here. They also knew that Marvel was under a joint investigation last night, and they were worried that they were also thankful that the comics had not been blocked. They also knew that Marvel was under a joint investigation last night, and they were worried that they were also thankful that the comics had not been blocked. The popularity is the first after the refresh early in the morning. The Twitter company has worked overtime to expand the server, because it has been stuck since last night and had to increase it. But at this moment, suddenly the server became extremely smooth and even the number of online users dropped, which made the Twitter staff a little embarrassed. It seems to be this tweet. An employee pointed to a message, and others looked at it. Extraordinary news. In the face of government investigations, Marvel Comics specially published the first issue of Zian Mank Collector's edition today. There is only one comic in the entire book. So don't hurry up to buy it. This is a clarion call for counterattack. Sure enough, as soon as this tweet came out, fewer and fewer people spoke. The employees looked at each other and hurriedly asked one person to rush out to buy a copy. It's human nature to watch the excitement. When a company is investigated and publishes comics the next day, does it mean to resist? Especially this comic company has a relationship with the hero. Edward squeezed out of the crowd and looked at the bookstore with a crowd of people. His forehead was sweating, and he looked at the gray sky. He secretly said in his heart, Suddenly, the supply of publications is sufficient, and it is still synchronized across the United States. This is by no means a temporary motive, it is a long-awaited plan. What exactly is Marvel? What does Shu Mo, the chairman and cartoonist want to do? What is the relationship between him and the hero Saatama? This is what everyone wants to know. At this moment, Marvel released a comic book that is even more confusing. When Edward rushed home, only the quiet atmosphere could help his thinking. He made coffee as usual, opened the comic, and skipped the cover and title page. This opening picture is not black and white, but full color. Is it true that Chengdu is full color? No wonder it is much thicker than usual. Edward's eyes were fascinated, and he turned back with questions. Under the exquisite painterly and beautiful colors, the curtains of narration were opened. Blood hands, elites in suits and leather shoes, hideous faces, upper-class figures hugging left and right, ordinary people lying on the ground, and the last few people. As people will gradually decay, the country will perish one day, even if it is a prosperous imperial capital for thousands of years, it is just a corrupted hell on earth, the demons and demons in human skin lead is arrogant and domineering, but I dominate. If the sky is incapable of punishing the evil, we will die in the darkness. All of us are professional killers. Edward's eyes widened immediately, his legs numb, his speech numb, his scalp was numb, his brain was like a paste, and his nervousness was suppressed. I drank the coffee quickly, but I couldn't calm down at all. Staring at the comic, Edward sighed tremblingly, back quote, what is this going to do? Rebel, quote, Shockingly speechless, if this kind of comics were released plainly, it would be fine, but now it is being watched by the government. The intention behind the release at this time is by no means simple. Shu Mo, the chairman of this company, is hardly expected, and the attitude of the White House has not been clear before, which is very vague. The top is scared, Edward can only think so. Xavier Youth Talent Academy Charles was in a wheelchair, behind him, Chin was pushing him slowly on the green lawn. The new day was full of hope because I saw the school life was restless, but Charles didn't have any smile on his face. 
Jin knows why, because Professor Charles is holding the comic magazine she just bought, which is too real. Charles closed his eyes after reading the opening paragraph, not knowing what he was thinking, Chin guessed that these words might remind the professor of his best friend Eric. His methods have always been radical just to reflect this killer line. After a while, Charles opened his eyes and then looked down. The plot begins when a young man named Tasmi rescues two travelers from the monster called the Dangerous Earth Dragon on the way to the Imperial Capital. When Tasmi indicated that he was going to the Imperial Capital, he said, the Imperial Capital is different from what you imagined. Although it is prosperous, it hides a monster that Shumo is more terrifying than the Earth Dragon. It's people, all monsters with human faces and beast hearts. It's impossible for me to go back. I came to the Imperial Capital to work hard to save the village. At the beginning, the entire comic was covered with a gray tone, and Charles carefully pondered the meaning and then read it. After entering the Imperial Capital, Tasmi ran to the barracks hoping to get ahead and buy the village. The points surprised Charles. What's the meaning? Why did the village buy it? Isn't it just poverty? Later, Tasmi was unwilling to become a recruiter and wanted to take a shortcut to compete for promotion. Unfortunately, it didn't work at all. At this moment, a woman came out to give him an idea. The price was to invite her to drink and then say that money and people are the way to get promoted. Tasmi easily believed, and gave a lot of money. Seeing Charles shook his head here, he was too young. Sure enough, Tasmi realized this simple scam after being prompted by others 10 hours later. When Tasmi had no money and nowhere to go, a kind and lovely girl came out to take in Tasmi. Charles couldn't help being happy for Tasmi. Although there were liars, there were still many kind-hearted people, and he was really kind-hearted and beautiful. In the conversation between Tasmi and the kind-hearted family, it turned out that Tasmi had two companions. The village starved to death all year round. As long as the village was bought, there was no need to pay heavy taxes, which greatly improved the survival rate. But in the middle of the journey, the three of them were separated because of the attack by thieves. Tasmi was very grateful to the eldest lady's family. As said in the painting, he was helped by kind people. When he went to the streets the next day, a guard began to reveal some information. The emperor of this country is only a child, and the minister is the prime culprit of corruption in this country. At the same time, he also pointed out that heavy taxes are also the minister's idea. This is the common sense of the imperial capital. In addition, it also mentioned the killer group that targeted the nobles of high-ranking officials to enter the night attack. At this time, Charles felt a little uncomfortable. Since the minister was the prime culprit of corruption according to the guard, his interest group is now the biggest beneficiary, which is now the high-ranking officials of the imperial capital. Otherwise, it is impossible for him to corrupt the country alone. Isn't the eldest lady's family pushing to take in Tasmi like this is not so simple on the surface? The story is still going on. At night, the eldest lady's mother walked down the corridor with a diary and said strangely, interests make people unable to show off. But the next painting made Charles's heart tense. She was cut in the waist, so fast that she didn't even react, and she let out a surprise. At this time, Tasmi, who was sleeping, suddenly felt murderous and quickly got up and thought of the assassin group that the day guard said. At this time, Tasmi, who was sleeping, suddenly felt murderous and quickly got up and thought of the assassin group that the day guard said. The next picture shows the same background picture as the cover, the difference is that the five figures are clearly visible. Two men and three women, and a woman wearing glasses and holding scissors are in the villa. The next moment, the guards were crushed to death by him. At this time, Charles also saw that the woman who had previously tricked Tasmi's appearance and attire had changed has killed the eldest lady's father. And ready to kill the eldest lady. At this time, Tasmi was already fighting with the girl named Crimson Eye, but Tasmi was weak, and he could only meet death if the sword fell. A-H-E-G, but the woman who cheated the money before stopped talking, and brought Tasmi to a room and kicked the door open. Everything inside surprised Tasmi and made Charles frown. Lots of mummy corpses were hung on it, all kinds of dissection and torture props, dripping with blood, as if the hell on the earth, under the superb painter's performance, is as deep as it is. This is the darkness of the imperial capital. Tasmi was stunned. It's their family's interest to use sweet words to deceive trust and abduct to this point and tortured to death. 
At this time, Tasmi found that both of his companions were here, the female companion was tortured to death, and the male companion was bruised and bruised. But this eldest lady showed an abnormally hideous face, a face that was completely distorted like a devil and was completely different from the cute face before. He even said, the countryman is a domestic animal, a woman has flowing hair, but she is messy, saying, she should thank me for taking care of her. Even Charles, who has always been a good man, feels sick. Can such a sadistic family in the skin of a good man live to this day? But at this time Charles was stunned, his mind was full of scenes of mutant children being tortured to death, and only a few escaped from the base under William Stryker's hands. Laser Eye is one of them. This scene is so similar to the comics. It is precisely because of the support of the minister as the backing that such a high-ranking nobleman can be so disgusting and distorting. It is precisely because of the private acquiescence of the American government that executioners like Stryker have a base to conduct human experiments on mutants. Charles endured his heartache and continued to look down. Tasmi, who had awakened, hacked the eldest lady to death with a single sword, which made people happy. At this time, his male companion also died of Luzala's disease in the late stage, and he also mentioned that the hostess prescribed medicine to others and wrote their situation as a diary for pleasure. This explains the interest in the mouth of the woman who was cut in half by scissors. Looking at Tasmi in the comics, crying, what happened to this imperial capital? Yeah, what is going on in this world? Charles closed the cartoon and looked at the mutant teenagers who were running and chasing. This is the only pure land, he must guard it, he does not allow it to become ruins, he knows from this cartoon that a person's power is far from enough. Peeping is everywhere, and the safety of mutants is at stake. Eric is too radical and inappropriate. He needs help to achieve a strategic alliance. S.H.I. Jin, make an appointment for me, the chairman of Marvel Comics, Shu Mo. At noon that day, the internet was in an uproar, Twitter and the official forum were directly fried, and the previous netizens were again interested. Hiro Saitama, Comics, the decaying imperial capital, and Haki Wushwangs, we are all professional killers, and other words swept the internet for a while. This comic makes my scalp numb and full of energy. To confess Tasmi, it just seems to have some scum. It might as well be called Slag Rice. You have noticed that the next episode without the comics is not a magazine serialization but a weekly single book, which means that you can see it again tomorrow. Wow, this is a big outbreak for Marvel Comics, and it's really deadly to publish such comics during the investigation. It's dead but it dares to do it. Four hours have passed since the release date. Has the joint investigation sounded out? It's still a matter of thinking. The government counsel. It was originally an idle investigation. Is it illegal to publish normal comics? The internet is noisy, and such discussions are flooding all corners of the internet. At the same time, they think such investigations are simply nonsense and untenable. There are even some lawyers in Manhattan who bluntly said on the internet, the investigation is best done here, otherwise it will be unreasonable. If Marvel needs their help, they are obliged. In addition, some civil organizations strongly urge the New York City government to award Saitama with the Medal of Heroes so that they can be worthy of his contributions. Saitama has also directly become an internet celebrity. Nearly a million netizens have become his fans, establishing a support group and shouting for him on the internet. During this period, the military will be pulled out and flogged to create a contrast. At this time, people have a clear understanding of the relationship between Marvel and Saitama. Saitama is often regarded as a friend of Chairman Shumo. This is also true. After Saitama was touted to the altar, Marvel was also known as the Hero Company. Manhattan Villa 1. Shumo leaned on the sofa with Erlang's legs tilted, and the noon news was playing on the TV, watching with gusto. The New York Times. The appearance of Saitama has shown that the world is not simple. Maybe there are more undiscovered strong men. Are these enemies or friends? America Today. The power shown by Saitama is incredible. How should the government restrain such a person? Washington Post. Marvel Comics released a new comic during the investigation. The content is a metaphor for satirizing the current government's approach. A lot of news happened to cover up Saitama's actions to save Manhattan and avoid serious discussions. Lorna sat over, shook her head and sighed. Even if the people regard Saitama as a hero, the White House doesn't think so. On the contrary, 
they will regard Saitama as a great enemy. Of course, they don't want someone to be above their heads, but now they are still helpless. Shumo picked up two apples, stuffed one to Lorna's mouth and the other aided by herself, saying, Saitama and they are okay, Alice. After all, Villa number 2 where Saitama is located also has a TV. I'm afraid Gia Luosi also has ideas. Alice's projection appeared, and she curled her lips humanely and said, How could he care like Saitama? But Gia Luos was very angry when she heard it, but she was dragged by Saitama to play the game again. Because Jiloth's memory came from Yanos, after torturing Saitama for the first time, she felt that she was too much and she let it go. And Saitama still believes that he really thinks that he is still a bit level, and the family is not up to the point of playing games. Although there are many criminals in Marvel Universe, it is far from the world with a punch. Tenton is the city being attacked, and the movement is particularly loud. Although there are many criminals in Marvel Universe, it is far from the world with a punch. Tenton is the city being attacked, and the movement is particularly loud. Saitama suddenly became laid back here, so he went to see it from afar when the supermarket was on sale, but didn't buy it at all. Because the villa has everything, now his treatment is that as soon as the heroes and celebrities go out, they will be chased to take a photo. He just hides and plays games because of trouble. Maisie is a portrayal of his current life, and has become a bald house. Will Saitama lose strength because of not killing monsters? Shumo thought about it for a while, then left his head behind, and was about to flirt with Lorna, only to see Alice frowning. What happened? It looks like you are in big trouble. With a wave of Alice's hand, the ultra-clear projector replaced by Tony Landick began to emit countless particles, and then formed a stereo projection model. On the road outside Xiao Xiao, there is a specially installed mini-camera here. Shumo cannot use the telescope technique to monitor all the time. Three men are walking from the highway to the villa. One is a big guy with a hairy face and messy hair. The other wears a semicircular red helmet and tights like philosophical wrestling. His body is rock-like muscles. A strong sense of oppression. The two were second. They were headed by an old man wearing a helmet and a robe. The three of them moved forward slowly, not fast or slow, as if they intended to let people know that they were coming. The high-definition projection perfectly showed their external appearance, Shumo's eyes condensed, and the rest of the light glanced at Lorna. Lorna's face was even more panicked, and her hands trembled slightly. She only felt that her heart was in a mess. She knew who this old man was. Zero. She lives hard in New York, desperately supporting herself in order to find him, but she is about to appear now, but she is not at all happy. Lorna is very scared, because she is very satisfied with the current life and fears that the status quo will be broken. This old man's coming is definitely not to reminisce about the past. At this time, a big warm hand wrapped her white little hand, and her face was touched by warm palms. Lorna looked up and looked at Shumo affectionately. Leave everything to me, Lorna. Shumo calmed Lorna's emotions with pity, got up and walked outside. Lorna couldn't sit still and followed Shumo. Alice said silently, don't make it seem like a parting, there is still a big bald head next to it. Lorna reflected this, showing an awkward and charming smile, yes, it's not a big deal. You can't say that, of course, the housework is handled by myself. I don't want Saitama to punch people away. Lorna will be sad. Shumo waved his hand and paused. It just so happens that I want to ask him why he abandoned Lorna for so long, and he didn't answer well. Just beat me up. Lorna heard the words, feeling sweet in her heart. Soon, the two parties met not far from the villa, and the old man strode forward to look at Lorna's cloudy eyes with joy. When he was about to speak, Shumo yelled first, Hello, father-in-law. Hello, father-in-law. Suddenly Shumo's voice rushed ahead of Magneto King Eric Lanchel, and Shumo happily stepped forward to say hello. After all, what Lorna's father said should be respected. Respecting the old and loving the young is our rule. But Shumo's voice was no less than a thunderbolt in the ears of Magneto King, and the land was cracked. The whole person was suddenly indifferent to life, and an unspeakable feeling was in his heart. This is, this is the feeling of heart, myocardial infarction. The two behind him were even more confused. As Magneto saw that his heads were not very bright, he did not explain the purpose of the trip. 
The big man with a hairy face quickly angered Shumo with a fierce spirit and said, Boy, what are you talking about? What father-in-law? What nonsense? I'll teach you something. After speaking, he strode forward and waved his right hand to Shumo. Magneto narrowed his eyes without saying, 453. You should be a saber-toothed tiger, like Wolverine's brother. Shumo faced the gradually growing sharp claws and whispered plainly. As soon as the saber-toothed tiger heard that he was furious, he who hated Logan the most, his sharp claws suddenly speeded up and no longer kept his hands, go to death kid. And Shumo seemed to be scared and silly in his eyes, and it seemed to be extremely weak. Boom, the sound of a metal collision rang in everyone's ears, and the saber-toothed tiger's excited expression solidified. It didn't look like blood splashing through its head, but directly hit an extremely indestructible object. The sting of the shock made him unbearable. Click. Cracks appeared in the sharp claws, and then spread out like a spider web. When the saber-toothed tiger was stunned, the entire claw broke directly, and the other half fell directly to the ground. Where are my paws? The saber-toothed tiger's eyes widened, and his mouth trembled for a while, unable to speak. Cough. Sorry for your paw, here. Shumo coughed dryly, picked up the dark paw and put it back into the saber-toothed tiger's hand. The saber-toothed tiger shuddered and shook his whole body with excitement. The broken claws were thrown away with his backhand, and his feet couldn't help but retreat, and said in surprise. Who are you? It was the first time that he saw someone blocking the claws by virtue of a physical body, and Logan could only pass him with claws injected with Edmund Alloy. Ordinary steel looks like tofu in front of him. This man's skin is hardly comparable to Edmund Alloy. Who am I? I am the son-in-law of Magneto, the leader of your brotherhood, and the saber-toothed tiger will not go back soon, otherwise, how can you explain to your leader? Shumo scowled and scolded. Its voice was fierce, like this, the silly saber-toothed tiger was drunk at once, and turned his head to look at Magneto. This look was like a cat making a mistake, her eyes were at a loss, and Lorna couldn't help covering her mouth with a smile. Magneto was an angry person. I have never seen such an unpromising person. I believed everything and snorted seriously, shameful. Then with a wave of his hand, the saber-toothed tiger was pulled by the metal belt on his body and leaned to the back. Father-in-law is indeed the leader of the mutants. The assassination of the president is very hockey. Upon seeing this, Shumo happily took a picture of his heroic deeds. Upon seeing this, Shumo happily took a picture of his heroic deeds. Another Magneto's red tank touched his nose, and it was best to take a step forward and wait for the order. HMPH, Shumo, who is your father-in-law, don't try to hug you with a hippie smile. The veins of Magneto King's forehead are about to burst out, but years of wind and rain have forced him to suppress his anger, and it also left a kind impression on his daughter when he first met. With a face of Buddhism, he said solemnly, I will take my daughter away today. Thank you for your care these days. Now you can let it go. As a thank you, you can seek help from the Brotherhood in the future. Looking sideways at Lorna, she whispered softly, Child, go home. After speaking, she stretched out her hand, hoping that Lorna could put her hand on it. If it were someone else, how could he pull so much when he tried to tie people up, but for his daughter he had to be patient like a good father. Lorna pursed her mouth, although she was pleased to see her father, she wanted to leave Shumo, how could she be willing? As soon as she left her front foot, Gwen moved in with her back foot in doubt to grab the lair. In the end, love overcame family Lorna, and she uttered, I won't go back. It's nice to be here. Just come here and see me if you have anything to do. After finishing speaking, I felt a little inhumane, and looked down at the green lawn with a guilty conscience. Shumo spread his hands together and urged his shoulders to express that this is terrible, but it is true. Lorna Lanchel, you have to remember whose daughter you are. Magneto couldn't help being angry, staring at Lorna with his eyes squinted, and he paused word by word. You are my Magneto's daughter. I will never allow you to be a shit comic assistant all day long. This job is wasting time. Go back with me, back to the mutant family, and back to me. This is your mission as a mutant. Its majestic momentum makes people can't help but bow their heads, and Lorna is even more uncomfortable. Magneto is her father after all, and she must be recognized as a daughter even in America that worships freedom. Immediately, Lorna's eyes could not help being flushed. 
Shumo heard the words, the smile on his face has gradually disappeared, and he raised his brows and said blankly, daughter. Mission, it is high sounding, if you really care about it, how can you recognize Lorna until now? I'm afraid you didn't know that Lorna was your daughter before. The reason why you want to find it back is because she and you have the ability to control the magnetic field. You may feel a little guilty for not taking care of Lorna, but it's different when you know her abilities. Eric Lanchel, Magneto King, after all, you still want to fulfill your lifelong ideals. Family friendship is just a tool in your eyes. Every word of Shumo shocked Magneto's heart, and every word of his fell in his heart. He was right, Magneto thinks that way, and his personality is the same. Shumo can be seen from the ruthless abandonment of the Devil Girl in X-Men 3 after losing her ability. Magneto will only choose the side that is helpful to him when facing a choice, and the others are all cumbersome. I am afraid that this kind of thinking came after the death of his wife and daughter during the apocalypse period. Magneto's eyes flashed with cold light, and the surrounding magnetic field began to change, exuding powerful interference, and the air became a little distorted. At this moment, a car came by accident on the highway and floated out of thin air directly under the drag of invisible force. The passengers above jumped down shouting for help, and the car automatically disintegrated into pieces of metal floating behind Magneto. Magneto opened his hands, coldly contemptuously said, I don't know that the sky is high and the earth is thick. I thought I found someone with extraordinary strength as a backer. You need to know what the power of mutants is. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.